Hello, everybody. What's up, my dudes? Gotta look really white today. Cool. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, how you doing? It is very early in the in the day. I, I it's not it's not very early. It's just very early for me. But I'm all uh, I'm all nice and toasty, in my Udi. Not sponsored, but Udi. Give me that good, good shit. <laughs> but yeah, today I'm gonna force myself to learn Blender because I don't know it's just something I want to do. I'm uh, having a lot of fun with my digital. <gasps> Holy shit! I've got sixty nine followers, guys. When did this happen? When did this happen? That's a funny number. Oh, that's amazing. This is the happiest day of my life. Thank you, everyone, to, f who's followed the channel. And unfortunately, I have got to say, um, anyone else who does find my channel and enjoy the content, unfortunately, cannot follow me anymore. Um, there's nothing stopping you. It's just I'd rather you didn't, because funny number. Actually, I probably shouldn't go out saying that I don't want people to follow the channel. <laughs> I will. I. I. I'm willing to sacrifice my funny number followers. I'm gonna get a screenshot of my funny number followers at least. If I'm a. Oh, that was a bit of a wonk. Try again. I'm using me a snipping tool. There we go. Look at that bad boy. Right. Um. Right, give me a second. Real quick, just gonna. Cool. Sick. Uh, yeah. So today I'm gonna learn Blender. <laughs> that is actually very vague now. I think about it. Oh, I hate myself. Right, first of all, what I want to try and do, I want to see what I can put into After Effects. Because I know After Effects. I don't know no After Effects. I kind of know how After Effects, though. So I'm going to do, for, oh, what's this? Uh, this is my animation. Um, so what can I render? View animation. Uh, is this actually doing anything? No, oh, it's just a static donut. <laughs> I ain't... One thing I have found that is quite annoying with this that I never even thought of. Holy shit. My fans are ramping up and I'm getting 27 FPS on a wireframe render. What the fuck is this shit? What if I actually put it on full render? What happens then? Oh, that. You know what? That makes sense. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Right, I think a first first order of business is just forget the donut for now. I mean, what other things are two D animation? I'm nah, I'm never gonna do two D animation. Oh, I can export stuff though. Uh, I don't know what any of them mean. I'm just going off. I don't know why I can render audio. Where does it get audio from? Do different? Do they actually generate audio, or is it just you have to create it? And you... 
I don't know. New general. Nah. Oh, no. Um, I actually, yeah. I had this I started last night. There we go. It's the, uh, the stream background. And also, what if I've just done a smart under where is it? What if I uh, what if I solidify this bad boy? Build. I don't know what that means. Oh, this is so hard. Deform? No, I don't want that. Can I see solidify? There it is. That'll work. And this. Right, now I have this I'm not sure what to do with. Also, we're in the right rendering engine. I don't think we are. We're not. This is taking a while. I think I might have to go into Eevee for now. Oh. Um, right. So I need to add some bump. Little bit of bump. Oh. Will this give me that bump? Ah, uh, I don't think this is giving me that bump. Maybe giving me that bump on the other side. Ah. Uh, no increase the distance. No. That should be making big changes, but it doesn't seem to be. Can I put no, I can't put can I have different colours and different colours is no, right? Doing the bump in the wrong place. Um, huh. No. Should I put the normal into normal? No, because I think that's just shader shit. Right. Uh, a tutorial. UV Let's go back to this. Map the object and it's going to apply it to this protector. So this now your protector is actually going to follow along on this object. One thing I do recommend is make sure that you UV unwrap this. So we can just go into. So we're just going to tab in edit mode, and for this one we're just going to do UV cube projection right here. So notice when you do that, that's going to UV unwrap this object, and those UVs will be used to place this brick texture on your model. So next, you've got options oh, cool. for your color. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to set your different brick colors. So in this case, right, if I was to take like a orangish or brownish material like this, and you can kind of adjust it to get what you like, but then you take the second one and make it a material mic. like this. Notice how you can uh, quickly create kind of a brick look in here. The mortar is going to adjust the color of your mortar. So in this case, right, if I drag this as more of a white um, as opposed to a dark, then you're going to get a different effect. Um, the white is probably a little bit more realistic, though um, the general result that comes out of this one without any kind of noise is kind of cartoonish mm -hmm. anyway. But you can also use the scale modifier to adjust how large the bricks are going to be on your object, like this. So you can also adjust the mortar size. So the mortar size is going to set how thick the mortar is between your bricks. So usually I end up typing in a value in here because if you just use the arrows, the increments are too big. But you can use this in order to set how thick your mortar is going to be. So then your mortar smoothness is going to do exactly what it sounds like. It's going to set how smooth your mortar is um, on your object right here. So if I turn my smoothness up, notice how I don't have very pronounced edges around here. If I turn my smoothness down, then those are going to be very sharp edges. So your bias value is going to affect the color variation between colors um, one and two. So if you were to put a value in here of zero, right, then um, it's right down the middle. Um, if you were to type in a value of negative one, notice how all of your bricks are going to be the color of color one. You set it to one, then all of your bricks are going to be the color of color two. So you can use this to um, affect how many bricks are going to be a certain color. So That's example, a cool if you feature. Want more, be this darker material, you would turn your bias up in that direction. If you wanted more, it would be the light material. You turn your bias down. So you can use this in order to kind of. Um, I don't think I want to do that though. I'm just going with uh. 
white and black. Also, I did find as well, one thing you mentioned was uh, a thing that really annoyed me, how I couldn't make it the other way, but now I've actually kind of started to like this way. <laughs> also, I'm not sure what this change is. Oh, I put 50. That'll show some change. Actually, yeah, no, it's made that a bit smaller, but not really. Uh, right, I I kind of like this though, like the pattern that I've got going on here. I I do vibe with this. Oh, I just realised it's fucking. Nah, I'll, I'll take it. It'll do. <laughs> uh, right. It's the blending between the two colors that you have selected in here. So brick width is going to be exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's going to affect the width of the bricks right here. Um, you can also affect the height of the bricks right here. So if you wanted that, more like a that's what I'm looking for. Uh, why haven't I seen that? Oh, uh, what was a squish? So I just supposed to be on one. There we go. So I can change the height. Oh no, but that does look cool. And there we go. And the width. If you had like three wide, that looks pretty cool. What if we change this for science? to a grey. There we go. Then put the bias. Bit more to black maybe? No, because more to black makes it more black on the right than it does on the left. Or do I just leave this at zero? Not zero. There you go. Yeah, I kind of vibe with this. Right. Uh, CMU block type situation, you might, might set your height a little bit higher. Um, if you wanted kind of a thin break or something like that, you could use this to set your uh, you could use this to set your rows smaller as well. So there's kind of some interesting uh, there's kind of some interesting applications in there for creating like a subway tile or something like that as well. All right, I don't want to go too far down this path in this video. Uh, we can talk about this in a separate video. But um, what you might do um, now that you have these all kind of created is you might add some different like noise textures in here to get rid of the uniformity. Let's say that we didn't want the color on the bricks to be quite as uniform. Well, what we can do is we can add like a noise texture modifier right here. So we can add a noise texture, and we don't want to plug this into this node. What we want to do is we want to add a color ramp node right here. What that's going to do is that's going to allow us to plug a factor into the factor right here. And then it's going to allow us to plug the color into this first color. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to set our bricks so that they've got a little bit of a, a little bit of detail to them. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to alternate between these different colors, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these in a little bit, but I'm going to set uh, these two colors to kind of that reddish color that we had in here before. So maybe something like this. This seems kind of cool, but I just I, th for an actual brick wall this would be fucking sick. But for what I want, which is like I've changed my mind. I don't like this already. So what I'm kind of going for is not actually a brick wall, rather than like some aesthetic wallpaper shit or something like that. Uh, and I do like the look that I've got going so far. Also, I need to actually think about how this is going to be seen. I think for that, I might need to duplicate this. Um, and what do I do? I'll rotate it along this axis to 90. That has not worked all, has it? Oh no, that's worked perfectly. God, I'm so good at Blender. Oh. Ah, you can't. You know what? We can make the room a bit shorter. Have I wonked the heights? I might have wonked the heights. No, well, I, I, I think this is a pretty cool wall. Because then the idea is a camera will be something like uh, here ish. Something like that. 
Right, these both these walls are going to need to go higher. So Z, there we go. So I'm going to need to also change the brick width now. I wonder if this will change both of them. It will. Let's fucking go. There we go. I like that. What do you think, chat? How does that look? That's pretty spicy. I'm not... i, I got to admit, that is quite spicy. Also, one thing I'm going to do, uh, just because it is probably going to be quite important for actually having it look realistic, because the, the idea of this is it's going to be my webcam background. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We're cool. That was just my webcam lagging. No, it's not. It's the entire stream lagging. Okay. So, now I've now realized that the same cores that handle OBS encoding also handle the rendering. <laughs> Oh, I have not thought this through in the slightest. Oh. You know what? We can deal with it. We'll deal with it. That's light. Uh, I don't want a point light, a spotlight, or an area light. I think a point light is going to be our best bet. Going to set up like here-ish. That seems about right. Because I kind of want it to be like this. But higher, maybe. You'll have to excuse the shittiness of how this, like how shitty this looks, and how laggy this stream is looking. Uh, right, why is this going more here? Oh, these are still kind of glossy. I can fix that in a minute. Um, or do I want it glossy-ish? What do you think, chat? These looking like this, or these looking like? I don't know. Well, this, so like completely flat, or like more, not exactly like this, obviously, because this is stupid. It does look really nice, though. I will admit, that looks really fucking nice. <laughs> but that would be stupid. I'm not going to tile. Plus, as well, I don't want to, like, I don't want to create a room that's, like, acoustically super different to this. Because... Then you have to think about the whole. If I'm st if I'm stood right here in the middle of this room, th this room, I will you will hear my voice echoing like a motherfucker, <laughs> and that's just not a thing that'll happen. No, I think I'm gonna go for the whole wallpaper thing. Again, excuse the lagginess of the stream. Uh, but yeah, I like this. I really like this. Um, I think I ha I'm actually going to change the light as well to more of a area light. Yeah, yes. Because then, when I go for area light, again, apologies for the lagginess. Oh god, my computer really doesn't like this. <laughs> It's K Paul 3060. It'll be over soon. <laughs> oh. There we go. There you go. Are you happy now? I put on the lights as well. This gives me like kind of a rough idea of how it's gonna look as well. Just not not a any look, any kind of useful look. Also for this, I might just go grey, roughness all the way up, I'll turn this into like a kind of carpet thing, a bit darker maybe, there, something like that, and we'll add some like floofies maybe, get a bit of a carpet going, uh, and that's in the node editor, so I can do that, what's scripting about? I've ever used this. I don't think I have ever used this. This is the one. But yeah, this one, I'll, I'll do that a bit, though. 
Uh, also, one thing before I forget, I want to kind of roughly match the colour temperature of the lights. Because I have my light always set roughly the same. Just for the chroma key effect. It's coming from too high. Which one am I pulling back? Oh, has it applied the rotation? Yes, it has. There we go. It's putting it a bit down, but not too down. I'm actually also going to move this down a bit more. And we'll go into the light. There we go. Turn it up a bit. Oh, another. Right, I think I can cheat here. I want some light on. Where's my stream? No. 5700 Kelvin. 5700K. Hex. Um, hex code. Color temperature relationship. 1500. 5700. Oh. Cut that's yellow, I thought. But this. So now this has the exact same light as my light. I don't think it does. I think the colour temperature might be off, off, off a bit on this light. But it was really cheap, to be fair. I think like 70 quid from Facebook Marketplace. I just got a cool little remote. Look at this shit. Ah! Look at this shit. I fucking love this light. It's helped me so much with the streaming. Just because before I got this big boy light, the only lighting I had for my stream was this. Oh, hang on a second, chat. I forgot to change my turn my exposure lock on as well, so this might get a bit funky. Yeah, all I had was this little USB ring light from Home Bargains, and you can see it. It's the biggest one they have, but you can still see how small it is. Like that's, I can I can touch. I mean, that's not really a very fair thing, but I can hold it like that. That's it's very small ring light. I like, um, and this big boy is amazing. So generally now I just keep it on the floor a bit just to give the green screen a bit more light because I'm not gonna lie, this is a really shit green screen. <laughs> it's awful. It really is. Uh, but it's all good. Because I have good lighting. Decent lighting. <laughs> also, now I've actually seen the colour on the screen. I'm thinking this might be actually pretty close. Um, but yeah. This is looking good. I say it's looking good. What do you think, chat? Looking good? It's looking good. Looking good. <laughs> uh, right. Next. Next up is to stop getting distracted and actually figure out how to do the bump. <laughs> uh, cool. This is actually going to teach me how to do the bump. And then for this other one, let's say we wanted this to kind of like alternate to more of like a darker red, something like this. So we'll drag this down a little bit. It really doesn't matter what the colors are. That's kind of your artistic license. But if we take our noise texture and scale it up, notice how what we're getting is we're getting noise in the colors of the bricks right here. So what that means is that means that brick material in here is no longer just uniform. Um, it's a lot more rough thing with uh, like our mortar color. So let's say we're going to take this whole thing, do a shift D and duplicate it. But this time we're going to drag it into our mortar. And we want to set our mortar so that we've got a little bit of variation in here between the first and the second. So I'm going to set both of these to kind of like a lightish color. So I'll set this first one to like a white. We'll set this second one to like a gray. Something like this. But again, notice how now we're getting variations in the color. And for this one, we might want to adjust that scale a little bit. I'm not going to lie, this looks really this cool. And I really wish I was doing realistic bricks. Often, this offset occurs. So if I set my frequency to three, right? Maybe that is literally the most recent one. 
Hey everyone, this is Ryan King, and in this Blender tutorial, we're going to be creating this procedural brick material in Blender. You can and see the bump so. Using displacements to actually make the brick pop out of the mesh. So if I just go into rendered mode here, I can show you. So if you zoom yeah. in here, you can see that the bricks are actually being displaced. Oh, and that's a lot of stuff. The now this displacement is adaptable. You can see that I've turned on the adaptive <laughs> subdivision, and I'll show you how to set this up in the tutorial. But you can see this is a little bit low quality, so I just need to update this. So I'll just double tap on the CAD. Oh shit! I just realized my dono goal is covering the channels. We want to get the shout out, shout outs, boys. We we, su we support we we support YouTubers here. Especially tutorial YouTubers who help me when I'm in pain and suffering and I just want to... Um, can I say end it all? I feel like I probably can, but I'm kind of scared in case I can't because TOS is a little, a little, a little silly. A little, little fucky-wucky. <laughs> And that'll just kind of update it because we're uh. in and then we went back in object mode, and you can see there we go. So you can see with this displacement here, it's actually displacing the mesh. And so we're going to use this procedural brick texture, and it's going to go through here, and then it's going to actually displace the mesh. So that is super cool. Just a couple quick things before we get started. If you'd like to help support this channel, well, and also get the project files for this procedure. Wait. Oh, why did it go to low res now? The color invert displacement. Where's he got that going into? What are you doing? Oh god. A factorial going into invert and then into displacement. Fuck off bump. You cringe. You know what isn't cringe? Displacement. <laughs> cool. And now factorial going to height. Object space. Nothing. <gasps> Wait. Um, is that doing a little bit of something? Oh, I don't know, just in case. Um. Yeah, no, it's not. It's doing a whole lot of fuck all. all right. Let's see what node he's got to go into. He's got to go into so high. With this displacement here, it's actually displacing the mesh, and so we're going to use this procedural brick texture. And it's they do a big texture. He has got bumps. It's going to go through here, and then it's going to actually displace the mesh. So that is super cool. Just a... Where's the bumps going? Right. He actually no. I uh, I don't think I need to go as complicated as him. Because the way he's got it as well, from what I can tell from his small window, is he's got the um, color ramps for the the texture, and he's actually changing bump, like moving the bump with the color map as well. A couple quick things before we get started. If you'd like to help support this channel and also get the project files for this procedural material as well as other project files, then you can do that over on my Gumroad store and my Patreon page. The links are in the description. And I'd also like to give a huge thanks. Support this guy on Patreon, by the way. I to become a seller. Oh, it's a uh, oh, this is three D model shirt. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna sell three D models anytime soon though. Three D models and preview them in your browser. You can even build an AR, VR, four on a phone or tablet. You can also purchase three D models and assets from Sketchfab's model store. You can even apply to sell your own models on the platform. Check out Sketchfab with the link in the description. All right, yeah, so we'll actually start doing the material setup. You can even apply to sell your own models on the platform. Oh. So check out Sketchfab with the link in the description. Okay. All right, so real quick before we actually start doing the material setup, I just want to show you the setup that I have. So what I did is I pressed Shift A and I just added an isosphere. Because this is a part of my procedural series of tutorials on YouTube, I just want to use a sphere. Is there any loopback tests on here? Because I can't help but notice. No expression reason, yeah. Uh, compressor, I mean, if we turn the threshold up a little bit. Cause I can't be asked using my headphones for this stream. It's not really imperative. But, uh, I mean, it is picking up in mic. 
I think this might be better though. Of course, you could just make like a brick wall or whatever object you want to use. The important thing is that the geometry is pretty even. So no, it's not all working. these spaces are about the same, and that's because we'll be using the subdivision surface modifier, and then we'll be using the adaptive subdivision, and that way it'll add the extra geometry that we need to actually displace the mesh. So it doesn't have to be super detailed, but just make sure it has even topology. And then I added a camera, and I just pointed it right at the sphere, and then I also just used this plane light, so it just adds some nice lighting on the sphere. And then also to get some nice lighting, I added okay. this aerodynamic workshop 1K, and this is on polyhaven.com. I've just realized the reason it might be going fucky. Why are you? Why would it be doing that? Why Why would anyone want that? There we go. Now, the stream's running perfectly fine. And it's actually rendering in good time. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Because it's CPU rendering that's killing my PC and making it take ages to actually get through the samples. Put this bad boy on Gapu. What a shit. That's creamy. I was, I know it's, it seems really off topic, but I just realised he was recording and using uh, full render mode. I was like, oh, how the fuck are you doing this witchcraft? And, and I remembered. So I'll leave the link in the description if you'd like to download it. It's a free <laughs> HDRI. And so I just added this in as an environment texture to get some nice lighting. All right, so let's go over to the shading tab and we can get started. So I'm just going to go into render mode just so we can see it right up here. I'll just click on the sphere right here and then we can just click on new and I can just call this procedural brick, procedural brick, just like that. And then one more thing real quick before we get started, I'm going to be using the node wrangler add-on while we are setting this up. So if you don't have the node wrangler enabled, you can just click on edit and then go to the preferences. And edit preferences add-on node wrangler. There we go. Add-ons. Nod. Node wrangler. Is it, I think this one, the other, the last tutorial said to turn on. So now if I go to shading. I don't know, is it? Wait! This is a little bit of a bump. We did it, chat. No, we didn't. We didn't do it at all. I would still need to have inverted it anyway. I also might need some math to um, increase that. Uh, what is the factorial? Right, so that is just the same thing. I don't see any change. I do think these are sticking out a little bit. I think this is doing summit. I'm pretty sure this is doing summit. And then right over here on the add-ons, you can just start to type in node right over here on the search, and you can just check mark the node wrangler add-on. It's built in the blender, so it will be there. So just check mark it, and then right behind me, there's the save preferences button. You can click on the save preferences button if you want the node wrangler add-on to be in all your future blender projects. It's a really useful add-on, and I'll show you how we're going to use it. So we can just close the user preferences now. All right, so let's get started with the procedural setup. So I'm going to press Shift A, and I'm going to go to the search, and we are going to start with a brick texture. So the brick texture is going to be the base of our material. Now we just turned on the node wrangler add-on. So what you can do is you can hold down the Control and Shift key, and then click on a node. And what that's going to do is going to add the viewer node, and then you'll be able to preview different nodes. Oh, is that how you do it? Control Shift click. There we go. Okay, how do I get rid of this now? Put that back to there. I don't know. It's confusing. I don't care. You hold down the control and shift key and click on different nodes and it'll preview them. Here's the brick texture. But you can see that it's rotated a little bit weird. You can, of course, set this up however you like. You probably aren't going to use a sphere. You're probably going to use a brick wall or something like that. Um, but I'm just using a sphere. What I'm going to do is just select this node and then I'm going to press control T. And that's using another feature from the node wrangler. And what it's going to do is it's going to add this texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Then what I want to do is I just want to use object. I'm going to use object. Of course, if you're making a brick wall, you might want to like use the unwrap it. Really just set it up however you like. I'm just going to use object. And then the object should be in the little. What? Control T? Control T has done absolutely nothing. Cool, thanks. Ah, that's cool. You can just go left and right. 
Uh, that's a nice feature a lot of software uh, does a bit fuckily. Location needs to be right up here on the vector, so on the top of this distance path. All right, and then we can use this map node to rotate the texture. So right here on the rotation, we need to rotate the x value by 90 degrees. So I'm just going to take detail right from the and set up the colors. So color one, I want this to be like darker red. A little bit is actually a little bit shifty and click on the principle. Two, I'm going to take the vector and plug that into the normal. Now this doesn't work because this is a gray and this is purple, so we need to convert it to normal data. So to convert it, we're going to press Shift J, and I'm going to search for a bump node. We're just going to drop the bump node right here, and then we just want to put the factor up to the height and then the normal into the normal. So now if you kind of go inside view here and look at it, you can see it's kind of popping in. Oh. Factorial into bump. We have to excuse my slowness with the keybinds. You get out of here. Get get out of here. Is that the height? Did he put in? The normal comes out to here. That's sticking out, boys. No, it's not. Oh, God, I just realized these aren't lined up at all. Oh, wrong axis. Why is that moving it left and right? What? I'm going to lay out view. But now I've got the full render on. This is the full rendering mode. Are we seeing any kind of bumps of any kind whatsoever? I'll zoom dim at NMI for nothing to happen. There you go. And I could add a, a multiply just to make it a bit more obvious. You know what, I should stop getting ahead of myself. I should just follow the tutorial. That is going to height and then out to normal. Out, but it's actually the wrong way, so you can just click on the invert button and it's going to flip back. And then you might as well... An inverter. That's cool. Invert this bad boy. <gasps> Look at that! That, that, that! Whoa! <laughs> That is 100% going in. That is working. Let's fucking go. This is going up and down. Match that up there. I think left and right is good. Yeah. This is coming along quite nicely. This is this is coming along quite nicely, guys. We have the bumps. We have the fucking bumps, guys. God damn. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> uh, back to shading. Well, let's see what else he does. Cause this seems like it should be good. Set up the displacement now. So the displacement is optional. If you don't want to use the displacement, you don't have to. But I think it does make the bricks look a lot more realistic because these bricks are actually going to pop out of the mesh. So let's set that up. So the first thing that I'm going to do is click right up here, bring this out. Uh, what I need to do is on the feature set right here, I need to set this to experimental. So we'll change it to experimental. Then what we need to do is we need to click right over here on the material properties, and let's just go right down here to the settings, and then right here under surface, you can see that there is a displacement. So on default, it's set to bump only. I want to use displacement and bump, so we're going to turn that on. So it's telling it to actually use the displacement. So now we just need to do two more things. We need to give it that's why displacement didn't do anything at all. Right, why... This doesn't make sense. Why is there a displacement node if you have to enable it? Seems like a little bit of a... Uh, little bit of a fucky wookie. Experimental. Yeah, yeah. Materials. Do, 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 settings. Uh, displacement, displacement, and bump. There you go. Uh, I think, actually, though, for my use of this, I think I do want these panels to be very flat. I might add a bit of uh, noise, maybe, just to make them like, seem textured. But other than that, I think I want to keep this. So what if we just did that? 
Nope. Nope. Wait, can you scale the node? Uh, I'm not even gonna question. Uh, give me some noise. Um, there we go, that's what we want. Cool, so now if we get the value, put that also in bump height. I don't really see much. I do actually see quite a lot now. So hundred percent uh picking up the it's grabbing the light more now. Hundred percent. Also, is this actually the same material? It's got a node going into there. I turn the bump off, or is that it just? Yeah, it's not really doing much. Oh. Maybe come by no. What would it could be called to merge. I want basically both of these to apply. Oh no, I don't want to open Discord. Uh oh that's Oh god damn. Just seen the fucking <laughs> McDonald's tune from last night. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh also I'm gonna get rid of these real quick because these are MOA and cringe. I want to increase this distance as much as possible. This isn't doing anything. Why if we go for like hundred thousand? Uh, 
Let's add a load of zeros on the end. What's the highest bump you can go? Uh, all right, let me, let me watch more of this. Some more geometry, and then we also need to give it data to actually displace it. So let's click, click right over here on the modifier. We're going to click on add modifier, and we want to add the subdivision surface. And it might be a little bit laggy at first when we're adding it. All right, and there we go. We added the subsurf. Now we want to turn on the adaptive subdivision because this is really helpful, and this way it's only going to add geometry where we're actually looking at it. So if we zoom close up here, like if you're doing an animation or something like that, and you zoom the camera up, it's going to subdivide it in maybe higher detail where you're looking at it. But then on a part that's farther away where a part that you can't see, it'll make that lower detail. So that's going to be really helpful for performance and making it higher detail where you actually see it. And then I thought I'd just add. Okay. Die. Do I add subdivision? It's going to be the big question here. Because will it actually help, or are you just saying that because you should add subdivision because otherwise it'll look like shit? Because these are just flat walls. Like. <laughs> yeah, this is all a geometry. No, because that doesn't affect geometry at all. Does it? It got me down myself now. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Modifier. Add modifier. Subdivision. <laughs> um. Uh. Oh fuck, guys! I turned my wall into a circle. <laughs> oh fuck! To be fair, though, as actually fucking stupid as this is, I I really like it. Ah, <laughs> uh, because this would be really cool. Because if I like, um. What's the mesh looking like now? Um, I like to. Do I apply the subdivision? That's a lot of polys to work with. I can. What I could even do here is select. Whoop. Do something like this. Find like the center ish. I go this way on. Stop me if this looks awful, chat. But I think this ain't bad. A little bit of a dip. Not a little, little bit of a dip. A little bit of a little, 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 little bit of a bloop. <laughs> oh, I really like this. Uh, rotation. Nope. Zero on the Y will do ninety. Then we'll grab that. Maybe like here ish. Scale that bad boy up. Scale it down a bit. Grab like that. Scale down. I actually really like this. Plus, with this off the wall a bit, it gives a nice bit of a shadow. Uh, I think I might, for this, have to make it just a little bit smaller. I actually really like this.
Nice little subtle, subtle shadow. And th there is a gap, which isn't very realistic, but we can pretend like there's like, um, like standoffy things. Is that what I want? I don't know. Is there a light? Uh, light path output for uh, glow? No. What if we try light output? Uh, cycles. Now if we select the factorial from here. I want to go with the absolute good theming. That's a 100%. I really want to do. What if I had a lot a cold light behind it? Right, less talky, more dewy. Uh, right, let's get rid of that. That's cringe. Oh, height a bit more distance. Cool, and then add light probe. Scary and just kind of point light. Uh, now put this behind here in the center, and then make this kind of close to my color. Boys, but I think all I need to do then for this is crank this bad boy to compete with the other light. So this is the kind of vibe that I want. What if I just turn this down? Cause I do obviously want light on the background. The problem is though, I d <clears throat> and one thing I have noticed already, just with the, if I just jump on here, the scenes that I've got now, is I do kind of stick out in the background because I should have backlighting, like purple backlighting, like over here, um, with the background. But I don't, and I at the moment I don't have the budget to make my lighting match my background, so I'm gonna have to make my background match my lighting, which <laughs> is very sad. Because I'm really having fun going a bit crazy with this. A bit kooky. But I think for this, I'm just going to have to... I mean, I could take, make artistic decisions. But I mean, this looks really nice.
Let me pull up my... Uh... Let's go for this one. Then for... Let's hit shade in. I want to change the brick colors. Yeah. I'll just turn the bias all the way there. Cool. Oh. Now I should make them more to this color. And this one could either go black or I think the play here is that. This is actually looking like it might be the one. Not sure what's causing this weird lighting thing. Oh, it's just the light shining over here. Uh, right, yes, that actually makes sense. Um, that's not something I want. I am for this if I just turn the rough. No. All the way up now. Maybe if I move it back a bit. It's a bit of a halo there. No. Nope. What if we just go on this? Oh, wait, I didn't even have to duplicate it. Just add a new material. New. No. Why is why is do this? Hmm. Can we line this up through pure spiciness? I like this. I'm going to have to do a bit of work with the camera. Also, I might make this smaller. 
Looks like a little centerpiece. Move it up a bit. That light, move that up to. Let's uh, view. Oh, yeah, in view, align view, align active camera to view. I'll put camera to view on. Let's see how this looks for now. Yeah, that looks good. Camera to view off. Then we'll just view it and uh <laughs> The purple light is really overpowering here. Really overpowering. I think on the end, uh, oops, I actually tell it not to render that. I don't like that as well. There's no definite corner. Um, and I could cover that up with some of it. Well, first of all, I want to check all my scales. Uh, sorry. Save as short untitled.png. That sounds like something I want. Uh, let's actually make a new scene. Oh, God, it's dark here. <laughs> uh, where's video capture device? Droid cam. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm going to add image. I'm not going to bother naming it because it's sort of the first one's testing. Untitled. Okay. So I'd need to make myself smaller. And put myself like in the middle somewhere. That. I need to put myself to the right as well. So I might stand. So from this, I've gathered. I don't know, because when I'm on games, I'm going to cover this completely. <laughs> So what I've gathered from here is the the, the, the thing needs to go the other way. Either that, or we could do it the lazy way. <laughs> and there we go. Ah no. No, I can't. I can't make it smaller. I just move myself and the camera about. But. I think this is a good start. I can just zoom out on the recam. Uh, how far out can I go without me losing my green screen? Oh shit, reality's falling apart. There we go, actual, actually. Um, I think this isn't bad. Why was, what's that, what's that? Why does that look so bad? Oh, my green screen stand is wonky. Ah, well, it's close enough. I think this could be somewhat convincing. One thing I need to do, though, is the... I think what I need to... The most important part... And first of all, I look like I'm really short here. So I think I should probably actually scale things to actual realistic dimensions. Oh, I've got my nips out almost. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Um, tape measure.
I'll need something like I'll talk. I'm like in fact, that's not really gonna help. How tall is my chair? Is that a good thing to go off? That doesn't seem like a good thing to go off. All right, what I'll do is I'll figure out the height to my phone and like a rough angle maybe? I don't know. Let's let's get measuring boys. Uh, I can I can probably measure from a distance because it's I'm, it's not going to be easy at all to reach my webcam on my phone. But I reckon that that's about I'm just gonna have to go closer. Straight across about here. One point four meters off the ground. Uh, so the camera, camera. Who's that? Blah 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 blah. Let's check the ball. Oh, cool. Oh, that's X. 1.4 1 1.4 1 meters off the ground that can't be right I refuse to believe that's right how high off the ground is this that's zero meters off the ground Oh, it's really far away, though. There we go. Something like this. My wonky corner. <laughs> oh, let's fix that before I forget. We need to keep the background interesting as well. Uh, where is it? Alter? Nope. Alter. There we go. Bit of this needs. Right, all the corners are meeting up now. I'll actually go on proper top down view. Why am I on this? Put it like here ish. Don't match this to here. Just because that's how I've got it in mind. So basically what I'm gathering from this is I've got my scale completely wrong. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, I'm going to make the light source as well bigger. Oh, let's go. How big is my ring light? Can I actually get pretty, pretty accurate with this? Give me a second, boys. Take measure time. About fifty centimeters. Can I wing it with the power? Because I have no idea what power this is. I want to change the what color of one of the walls.
Oh, so, oh, these are already flat black. Maybe if we just make it not completely flat black. We'll get some kind of definition there. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Oh, wonderful. Right. What the fuck happened there? It's really annoying as well because I got I was decided to be spicy. And get a oh shit, oh, that's not moved with it. Oh. Decide to get a not a six there a sixty five percent keyboard, I think it's called. A smaller than average keyboard. <laughs> I don't have numpad, and that's like, and I don't, have, I don't have a lot of the controls that this program needs. You know what? This is looking less ridiculous now. Turn the bright light way down now as well. This isn't even centered. <laughs> That's a bit better. We get these. Room down here. And try that. There we go. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. That's cool. I like this. <laughs> also, this is uh, giving us some definition to the corner, which I also like. Um, I do want to do though. Maybe this over here, maybe? God, I built such a big fucking room for this shit. <laughs> uh. That's gonna bounce the light a bit. What if I set all these walls to that? That actually kind of looks spicy. That is spicy. That is spicy, boys. Uh... 
I've got a light turned off in render view. Okay. I'll try some still facing the wrong way. Now let's let this do its thing. Is it done? There we go. Now, if we go back to my testing scene. Okay. We are on to something here. Because now we have the corner definition. I like can see there's a corner there, 100%. Um, I feel a bit short, maybe? Do I? Um, <laughs> maybe if I bring the camera up a little bit. Should I also have a desk too? I just got my own desk. You wouldn't even see the desk anyway. Um, I know one day. I don't know. This is all gonna be temporary as well. Like, I mean, this will be here for a while, but one day, hopefully soon, I believe, um, we are getting a lounge up here, and that lounge, I think, we're gonna do streaming stuff in. So no more green screen, and hopefully a good-looking background. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to have to put some money into it. Gonna, I mean, eventually, I'm going to get a sit-stand desk because that'll help because my back fucking kills after some streams. I just need to get up, get standing, get some blood flowing. But I like this. I, I think I'm vibe with this. What do you think, chat? I think it might be a bit flat, actually. Hmm. Maybe if I add the brick texture on these. Oh, that's why I changed back to my seam. Uh, material. Material two. Um. Yeah, I can always redo it. It's not. It wasn't hard. Um, search break. Color. Right, we also need a map, mapping, and then search map, UV map. I uh, want the rotation. Whoa. That's a 90 degrees. Okay, right, now we're getting somewhere. How did it look just like this? Awful, terrible, dreadful. Right, cool. <laughs> Let's put the factorial just into the normal. No, I need to put the factorial into a bump into the normal. I need to get better with the speed of my keybind as well. That'll be very good. Put the normal into there. Invert that. Wait, no.
Let's just put max distance. No. Point five, maybe. That looks all right. Then I'll drop me X values in. I'll do one with the bright purple and one with the deep purple, and I'll play with the bias to see what I like more. I like this more, I think. May if I make the bricks smaller as well. Let's try that. Yeah, I really like this. I really like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this looks good. Um, also, the lack of texture on the floor is starting to really get on my tits now. Uh, Alright, let's see what textures there are. Brick, checker, environment, gradient, uh, yes, image, magic. Oh, what's magic? Oh, that's shit. Could add maybe bump? Just maybe make like a bumpy floor. Glass, velvet, make it like this and have a look in the layout. That actually looks really nice. Okay, it's taking a bit longer to render now, but I kind of like that. <laughs> I just want to get some kind of texture on this. Because the... I, I'm going to make it simple. I know that. I always go to the wrong one. I wish you could reorder these. Mm. Oh, you can, but it's really annoying. Cool. <laughs> Maybe a bit, a bit grey. Why is this grey? Or is this? I, I think that's supposed to be flat black, but it doesn't appear to be. No, it's flat black. I think it's just the lighting's a bit too powerful. Oh, layout. Point light. How are these roughness full? Um, I 
You know, first of all, just because... Right, th this carpet will do for now. It's not staying. No fucking way is it staying. But you know what, let's just do the render one more time. Just see if I'm on the right track, like, positioning and shit. God, I'm, I'm having too much fun with these fucking vapes. I literally got them. It's like, you know, I'd be a bit quirky. See if it can help cut down cigs. And, uh, yeah, I've not really smoked since I got it. I was just looking. Okay, I got to admit, the camera position, it is 100% a lot better than it was at first, but it still just ain't right. I think I need to tilt the camera up a little bit. Also, it's looking kind of gloomy. I can probably fix that with some more lighting, though. Um, the problem I have here, though, is... Uh, can I turn the brightness down here? Oh god, no, that... Oh god. This is terrifying, what the fuck? This is very sensitive as well, apparently. Let's put that to zero. Go back into my filters. And see if I can kind of make it match. I want it to be a bit, a bit darker, but I don't want it to be like. Um... How's it going? Right, this is not doing anything at all. Oh, the gamma helps a lot. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm not good at image shit. I like this. This actually accidentally looks really good. Um, it didn't look really good with the background. Uh, th this still needs more lighting work, but I like this. I I, I like this. I this is good. <laughs> My next uh, job will be fixing the camera. Because I feel like the camera to me is only like a little bit of distance. I mean, actually, my my eye line from the camera. Let's actually get our measuring again. It's like here. Uh, am I better off doing it the other way? It's like my eye line is there, going up about twenty centimeters. And I am. God, this would be really cool in 3D. <laughs> Measuring chat. I'm about a metre away. Oh, God, that's actually quite far. So, a metre, and it goes down 20 centimetres. That seems like math shit. And I don't want to do that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an angle calculator. Angle calculator. Is it a right angle I need? So I need the angle of that one. So A is 20. No. No. C is 20, and B is 100. Value B needs to be smaller than C. No, A is 20, 
C is 100. B is nothing. Right? I should probably show you what I'm doing. On a right angle calculator on calculator.net. <laughs> a is a height 20 centimeters. And from the camera to me is on the angle, which is C. Yeah. Can I calculate the rest from here? Yes, it can. Uh, angle. I need the B one. What the fuck does all this mean, chat? All right, 78 degrees. 78 degrees. <laughs> I know what that means. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. Oh, shit. I've gone to a Shadow Realm, boys. I've lost my mouse. Oh, there we go. I accidentally went into something. There we go. I, I, I keep trying to use WASD to move around. And I don't know why. It's really annoying me because WASD selects random fucking shit and does things that I don't know what are. It's annoying. <laughs> uh, rotation. Oh no, that's not good. Uh, will applying the rotation. Will that fix it? No, it won't. A camera. What if? Right. I think I've done a smart chat. Z. Pop that to zero. And this. That's a tilt. I want that on zero. And oh, I had it really close actually. Oh, it needs to put a point further down. That is unexpected. Have I got the height right? It may be too far away. Uh, sampling, blah, 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 blah. Where's a camera? Film performance. No, that's a render, not the camera settings. The camera settings are there. I'm going to have to look up the specs on a camera. <laughs> One plus seven flow. Focal length. Primary car camera, 35 millimeters, 27 millimeters. What? Uh, so I'm going to go with these ones. 27 mil f1.6. Do we want to add uh, depth field? F one point six. A distance, it'll be focused on me size. A meter away. Cool. So now if I go over here, I can move my camera further into my scene. I mean, this yeah. this is realistic. This is how my phone should look.
Yes. Right, let's pull, pull Perenda. Sure, and uh, theoretically, this should look good. Should look really good. Uh, why am I getting a bit of lag? No, oh, it's over now. Also, the reason I'm overwrites each time is so I don't have to reload the thing in. Okay. Right. <laughs> so now I have some things to say. I like this. The depth of field effect is really good. I think. Or are we better off actually just going doing that and then let's try again. So this is how it should look. The problem this is going to cause is I can't really get the depth of field effect on anything else. It's just a background that's going to have it. Um, I think this looks a lot better. I really think it does. I think I like it. What do you think, chat? What I'm going to do real quick as well is just add these to a separate. Do Phil's go top to bottom in here? I don't know how OBS filters work. Actually, I think... Uh... Oh, wait, I need to fix my light placement. Yeah, because it is off now. Yeah, now everything's blown out. <laughs> Also, I just get on my tits as well. So, oops, wrong one. Can I? Oh, I, I'm about to do it. So, P, control P. Cool. Something like that. Do a quick render of that. I will do a live thing. So from this, the floor is looking very dead here. Two. Okay, I like that. All right, this, this is coming along nicely. One thing I really don't like is the 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 bricks. They're too it's, it's too grey on black. Um. But I think this perspective now is right. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I'm just chilling. How believable is it that I'm in this room? Here. This is my room by me. 
I, 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 ignore all the fringing. <laughs> ignore all the fringing. But other than the fringing, I, I, I think it's pretty believable. Uh, can I get a bit more space? No. What side is that? Oh, it's this side. And for this side, ignore all the smeg on the floor as well. Uh, it's been my girlfriend's birthday this week, so I haven't been doing much. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. I'm okay. Don't worry, chat. Uh, I need to... I need to revisit time my green screen. Okay, so say this side of the green screen isn't a problem. How far out can I go on the right? Because I'd say I'm pretty centred in the frame right now. This is good centre. Uh, so you want to watch... Oh, is that zoomed all the way out? Yes, it is. Okay. And then for zoomed all the way out, we do have a, a decent... And we don't have that much of a span of what we can do, but... I, I, I imagine as well... Actually, no, this wouldn't work for standing up, because... If I move my camera up, I'd have to have a matching um, matching background with the camera moved up. Otherwise, that wouldn't be very thing. Also, ignore my uh, melody. It's a, it's a comfy stream. It's a vibe stream. We ain't going for anything good. And when do I ever go for anything good on my fucking Twitch channel? Uh, what, what do you guys think I am? A good Twitch streamer or something? If you do, you're sorely, you're so, sorely, sorely mistaken. Is that a word? Can I just like pop this off? So I'm like a millimeter off, but I, I zip tied my green screen onto this stand because I don't actually have a stand for it. Well, I do. It just was left in the garage and got knackered. Uh. Because there was a lot of water in the garage. But I like this. I need more space for activities as well. And also, like, I think this also kind of helps sell it. It does definitely help the perspective a lot, though, as well. Because uh, copying in on the thing, as, as good as it works for other things, when you're matching perspectives, I'm kind of seeing that maybe it's not the best thing to be doing, you know. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. But I'm liking this. How long have we been going for? Almost two hours. God damn. Any good Twitch streamer could have done it well quicker. <laughs> Any good blender user. Anyone. Ugh. But I'm fun. Right. Also, if you're curious, yes, I am using a phone. For my webcam, use a droid cam. This is an incredible fucking tool. <laughs> Genuinely, I fucking love droid cam. <laughs> it's uh, literally, I mean, my old webcam, I paid like 40 quid for it because I decided to start streaming at the beginning of the pandemic. Um,. And, you know, when COVID first hit, people started working at home, so a few people needed webcams that didn't have webcams. So a lot of, quite a big price hike in webcams. And the one I bought was like 35, 40 quid, and it was shit. Awful. Dreadful. And I was stuck with that. Six pound for Droid Cam Pro. And look at this. Look, just, just, look at this. I... <laughs> Six pounds. If you have an old phone and you want a webcam, don't be fucking stupid. Get your old phone. <laughs> Get your old phone and fucking... Oh, brain cells. Get your old phone. Get a little fucking... I'm fair. That old ring light that I chatted shit about. For, for green screen, don't get me wrong. For green screen shit, it's absolutely useless. Dreadful. Terrible. No way I could ever use that for green screen. The, I mean, I, I don't know if I tried it before, but after I did get my other ring light, I was like, hmm, 
I wonder if this would actually work. No, of course it wouldn't fucking work. It's a fucking home bargains USB ring light. Um, but it's a pretty good kit. It comes with a ring light. It's like 20 quid, I think. It comes with a ring light, a tripod, and a phone stand mount. Like, phone clip. And it it's just got regular tripod screws like, uh, on the inside. Of the, I'd show you, but it's going to blow out my exposure and I can't be arsed reaching down. But it's regular tripod screws. So even if you upgrade, like, a camera maybe, you can just pop that on. If you want to put like a, if you want it to be like just some kind of all-in-one magic kind of set up in the middle of a room and do like live streams or something just from your phone, just get a um, just get a microphone that goes on tripods, and yeah, it's fucking great. I gotta admit, and um, and one thing as well is great about it. Because it is shit, like you have no fine, bra- you know, have no fine anything control. There's three color, pr- preset color temperatures: warm, slightly less warm, and cool. Cold, <laughs> should I say? Um, that aren't very good. And, like five different levels of brightness. If you do want to upgrade, like I even smile. I've got what is it? Ivisi, Ivisi. I don't know anything about lighting, other than this is good. It's big. It comes with some weird plastic covers to like add colours to the ring light. But I imagine that's more for cinematic uses rather than just just needing a light. Um, but it has a remote. It's got like brightness zero to one hundred, colour temperature. It goes from three thousand to eight thousand. I think that's good. In increments of a hundred, I thought that's pretty good. I've tried to go to five thousand nine hundred instead of five thousand seven hundred. Oh, it can be a bit dodgy sometimes, but it was sixty quid, man. And this, I, I, I don't see me needing to upgrade this anytime soon. All I've got some like key lights or something because I don't really like the look of a ring light. And key lights are just more my vibe. I just would, yeah. I feel like I could do more with them than I can with the ring light. But this is great just for green screen. I've got completely off track of my point. My point was, even if you do upgrade to something like this, that old shitty £20 ring light isn't even wasted. And for me, I, it, it, it literally just sits down, down there behind me on the floor. I don't know if you can see anything. No. Basically... Oh, there's some sweet and sour sauce and it's gone on the ring light. <laughs> oh, I've got sweet and sour sauce on my ring light. Fuck's sake. But yeah, I just leave it on, on the floor behind me. Ah. And it just helps with lighting up the green screen. Uh, and it's actually really good for it. Like, if I turn this off now, you will 100% notice it instantly. Okay, no. Never mind, I was wrong. <laughs> it's more noticeable on a white background. But it is more flaky. It isn't as good if you don't have that light behind you. And that has saved my ass for how it looks. Uh, I've tried, I've gone on so many completely different rants on this. But yeah, droid cam good, webcam bad. Home bargains, ring light. Good investment. It's good. Bad for green screen. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. And that was just a little sand up tea break for me. Uh, I'll leave these. Uh, Let's go back to this. I completely forgot I was doing this. What I did is I just made this simple object, and then I added the finished brick material. But you can see because we have this adapted subdivision, it is a subdivision surface, and so it smooths it out, so it almost looks like kind of like a pillow shape. And for a brick wall, you want it to be sharp on the edges. Now you could add bevels, but that's going to add a lot more geometry to your mesh, and you already have this subdivision. So what you can do instead to fix this issue, right now it's set to Catmull Clark. If you just change it to simple, now it's still going to subdivide the mesh, but it's going to keep the edges sharp. Just thought I'd throw that in the video for anyone who wants to make a brick wall. And you can see here that there is eight dice on the scale. What you do if you want more detail is you turn it down. So you could just leave it at one. You could also turn it down to like point one. That's going to be really high detail. Or if you want to be less detail, you could turn it up to like ten. So the smaller it is, the more detail it is. So I'm just 
of set to one, I think one's pretty good. Just note that the higher detail it is, so the smaller you make this, the more processing power it's gonna take and the longer it's going to take to actually process it. So you may not want to turn this down super low because it might get laggy or maybe crash blender, depending on how powerful your computer is. So, so I'm not talking it. much, I'm just trying to like take any of this in. That works pretty well for me. All right, so now we just need to actually give it data to display. So if I go back into render mode, I can control shift and click twice on the brick texture. And you can see that the brick texture has a factor value. And this is exactly what we want it to display because the bricks we want it to be popping out and then the rest of it we want to be going back in. So let's take this factor right here and we're gonna plug it into the displacement on the material output. Now it doesn't actually really work well right now. You can see it has a really weird thing happening. That's definitely not what we want. And this is because we didn't convert it to displacement data. So what we need to do is press shift A and we need to search for the displacement node. And then we can just drop the displacement node right here and we can just bring this down. And then we don't actually want the factor to be going into the normal because that's gray to purple. So we want to actually put this into the height. So the factor from the brick texture needs to be going into the height and then the displacement on the displacement needs to be going over to the material output here on the displacement value. So there we go. Now if you look around, you can see it's definitely doing something, although it's popping out the mortar and it's not popping out the bricks. So what we... Okay. Okay. I think I've got the general gist of this. So... Um... Do I do it to this or do I do it to these? I will start on these and see how it looks. Because this looks pretty good already. So we get a displacement. Let's pop that over here. Factorial into height. Displacement is a displacement. Um, but I see what's happened here. So I need to go. Uh, I think this will just be easier. Uh, Subdiv. Simple. I should probably solidify them both actually. <laughs> that would be that'd be quite handy. <laughs> Let's solidify solidify first, then subdiv. Yeah. Yeah, seems about right. Give it a bit of thickness. I'll apply that. I'll apply that. So we do have a lot more to work with. I feel like I should have actually listened to the tutorial instead of just doing this. But I'm going to need to solidify it 100%. Uh, bevels, but that's going to add a lot more geometry to your mesh, and you already have this subdivision. So what you can do instead to fix this issue, right now it's set to Capmore Clark. If you just change it to simple, now it's still going to subdivide the mesh, but it's going to keep the edges sharp. Just thought I'd throw that in the video for anyone who wants to make a brick wall. And you can see here that there's eight dikes to the scale. What you do... If you want more detail, is you turn it down. So you can just leave it at one. You can also turn it down to like 0.1. That's going to be really high detail. Or if you want it to be less detail, you can turn it up to like 10. So the smaller it is, the more detail it is. So I'm just going to set to one. I think one's pretty good. Just note that the higher detail it is, so the smaller you make this, the more processing power it's going to take and the longer it's going to take to actually process it. So you may not want to turn this down super low because it might get laggy or maybe crash blender, depending on how powerful your computer is. So I'm just going to leave it at one. That works pretty well for me. All right, so now we just need to actually give it data to displace. So if I go back into render mode, I can control shift and click twice on the brick texture. And you can see that the brick texture has a factor value. And this is exactly what we want. Now, it doesn't actually really work well right now. You can see it has a really weird thing happening. That's definitely not what we want. And this is because we didn't convert it to displacement data. So what we need to do is press Shift A, and we need to search mm -hmm. for the displacement node. And then we can just drop the displacement node right here, and we can just bring this down. And then we don't actually want the factor to be going into the normal because that's gray to purple. So we want to actually put this into the height. So the factor from the brick texture needs to be going into the height, and then the displacement on the displacement needs to be going over to the material output here on the displacement value. So there we go. Now, if you look around, you can see it's definitely doing something. Is he putting the textures on... A sphere and then copying them to here. I 
I'm 10 minutes in. I should know this by now. Do them in your browser. You can even view them in AR, VR, or on a phone or tablet. You can also purchase 3D models and assets from Sketchfab's model store. You can even apply to sell your own models on the platform. Check out Sketchfab with the link in the description. All right, so real quick before we actually start doing the material setup, I just want to show you the setup that I have. So what I did is I pressed Shift A and I just added an Icosphere sphere because this is a part of my procedural series of tutorials on YouTube. I just want to use a sphere, but of course you could just make like a brick wall or whatever object you want to use. The important thing is that the geometry is pretty even, so you can see that all these faces are about the same, and that's because. We'll be using the subdivision service modifier. Yes, he just did that because that you want to. Geometry that we need to actually displace the mesh. So it doesn't have to be super detailed, but just make sure it has even topology. And then I added the camera and I just pointed it right at the sphere. And then I also just used this plane light. So it just adds some nice lighting on the sphere. And then also to get some nice lighting, I added this aerodynamic workshop 1K. And this is on polyhaven.com. So I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to download it. It's a free HDRI. And so I just added this in as an environment texture to get some nice lighting. All right, so let's go over to the shading tab and we can get started. So I'm just going to go into render mode just so we can see it right up here. I'll just click on the sphere right here and then we can just click on new. And I can just call this procedural brick, procedural brick, just like that. And then one more thing, real quick before we get started, I'm going to be using the node wrangler add on while we we're setting this up. So if you don't have your Enabled, you can just click on edit and then go to the preferences. And then right over here on the hmm. Now we're 10 minutes, 18 seconds in. On the displacement, seems to be going over to the material output. Nothing happening, that's definitely not why you or maybe crash blender, depending on how powerful your computer is. So I'm just gonna leave it at one, that works pretty well for me. All right, so now we just need to actually get the data to displace. So if I go back into render mode, I can control shift and click twice on the brick texture. And you can see that the brick texture has a factor value. And this is exactly what we want to displace because the bricks we want to be popping out and then the rest of it we want to be going back in. So let's take this factor right here and we're gonna plug it into the displacement on the material output. Now it doesn't actually really work well right now. You can see it has a really weird thing happening. That's definitely not what we want. And this is because we didn't convert it to yes, very old, uh... So what we need to do is press shift A and we need to search for the displacement node. And then we can just drop the displacement node right here and we can just bring this down. And then we don't actually want the factor to be going into the normal because that's gray to purple. So we want to actually put this into the height. So the factor from the brick texture needs to be going into the height and then the displacement on the displacement needs to be going over to the material output here on the displacement value. So there we go. Now if you look around, you can see it's definitely doing something, although it's popping out the mortar and Huh. <laughs> uh, this is just uh, the uh, what? Uh, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> so we've got this on experimental. I said to set the the shit the
I know I can see the bump. Wait, is this actually going more? Maybe it's just he did it on a circle, that's why his was fucky. So what if I get a math and multiply that? Let's increase this to four. Well, that's just because he's using a different thing. Why is mine not doing the thing? To be fair, though, as much as it isn't doing the thing, it is doing anything. I think that looks good. Some cool purple brick. I think we take that. What do you think, chap? Oh, how's, how's this looking? I mean, but I think this is good. You know what? I really don't want to do it. Also, why is... Why is this break now? Is it because I don't have a light? Uh, light, point light, I'll just drop that here, I'll move that over like here-ish. Why does the left one look good, but the right one look like shit? Do I just... <laughs> uh, this seems like the best option. Uh, okay. Cool. Also, just because it's annoying me, I'm going to make this shorter. Yeah, with the field of view of this camera, I've I really should have set up the camera first with all my math because now I've made a stupidly big room. But I think scaling it 
will actually make teeny tiny bricks. I think it has. Yes, it has made teeny tiny bricks. And I guess I could just cut it. So if I go into sculpting. Now I could just go into edit mode with this. I need to subdivide these a bit first. Subdiv, maybe like four, maybe. Let's apply that and see how that looks in edit mode. That might be a few too many. Let's try two. That's not enough. Duh. That seems good. Cool. Okay, and same thing. Subdiv, simple, three, and apply. So both of these go into this. Oh, well, let's actually select the right tool. Go face selection. Select faces. faces pop into my camera view I've got plenty of space left to work with here right, I think what I am going to do though is just snip off one less than I have been doing Faces, faces, faces. Then we've got a whole other line of of uh, polys to work with outside of this. In case I change my mind. But yeah. Why is this wall broken again? I haven't done anything to break you. Why? I oh, know it's doing it and it does need inverting. Why can I not? I... Why does it look all right on here though? Oh, uh, is it because I rotated the wrong way? Yes, it is. There we go. Uh, one eighty. One eighty. G. Oh, God. Go from the top, rotate that way, 180. 
degrees. Go, go. Darish. Let's line them up. Check the height. I think the height is good because I'm really fucked with the height. Well, I think this is looking pretty good. Try and realign my camera. Delete them real quick. I like this actually. I moved it a bit closer and I've accidentally made it like more, way more subtle. I changed my mind, I don't like it. <laughs> God, that was quick. There we go. Cool. So that's the brick bit done for now. I'm going to keep that open, actually. Here. Blender. Light emit node, maybe? Make object emit light. What is going on this? I'm going to show you how to do, how to make objects emit light in, in cycle. Oh, God, that's 2014. I don't think this could be a thing. Also, shout out to Steve's tutorials. Uh, it doesn't cast light on me. No doubt there is no light. I own cycle trender. That makes sense. To be fair, that was a month ago and it worked fine. Were notes even a thing back right, then? Blender render. I'm going to show just give people that click on my video expecting to see how to do the cycles, but yeah, my other story that is doing it through Blender render. So basically, this final scene is red, white, and green, all emitting lights, as you can see, reflecting on the floor. And if I, for example, I turn the emission of this off, you should... There you go. Oh, it looks confusing. As you can see, the cube in the center is retrieving the red light and green light from both sides. All right. So also, what a lot of people do, which is a little scene stuff here, is use the lighting system, use the emission of the lights to actually turn them into lights for the scene. So as you can see when I render this, uh, my... Monkey is being lit up by the actual objects emitting light. A lot of people use that method to put some lighting into their scene. I personally use lights, but sometimes it's a better idea to do that because you get a better effect because lights aren't points, they are actually shaped. So, you know what? <laughs> I've t I'm sure it's not a takeaway I was supposed to have from the video, but I have gotten a new takeaway from that, and that is uh, first of all, that, that's, that's gone now, that's dead now. Uh, also, I'm gonna before I forget, I'm just gonna subdiv the. Uh, Hold on, the right one. A constraint. No, add modifier. There we go. Geometry nodes. What's that? Oh yeah, nodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Oh, uh, simple. Give me, give me three. Apply that, my boy. Pop into here, these, bye bye. I like how nicely everything's matching up. They make me happy. 
back. All right, cool, looks good. So I'm gonna do for now. Let's get rid of this light. God, the scene looks so dead without it. Fucking hell. Uh oh, yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Curve circle radius fifty centimeters. Cool, I'll do. I'm just going to move it over to here while I work on it. So now I'm going to solidify that bad boy. How thick is the wing like? I'm getting really precise here, boys. Six. Well, let's make it seven because it's like six and a half, so we may as well round up. Um, material properties. Uh, yeah, it's not showing anything. Why not? Is it because we don't have any faces? It does appear to be that way. Oh, let's, let's try again. Uh, add. Thank you, circle. Taurus! There we go, that's a bad boy. Uh, right, and with the Taurus. 0 0.5. 0.07. Can we get really accurate? No, I don't want to make it that accurate, I can't be arsed. Also, it tries to look really far away now. Oop. Go to scale tool. Can we just. We can just flatten the boy. There we go. And we'll move that. Uh, material. New. Emission. There we go. So now if we pull up that. This is making it significantly harder to render. <laughs> I'm sorry, computer. Poor little 3060. Oh, I'm sorry, my boy. My boy, I'm sorry. Right, let's undo that. Rotate it 90. Because I'm bad at math. And then 80. Minus 80. Minus 10. Oh. Minus. 10. There we go. So this should also better match the lighting I see. And this also needs to come up a bit. I want to make it more directional. I 
actually, that looks all right. Turn down the strength a bit. Try 200, I think that looks good. All right, let's try this then. Oh God, I've done a lot since the last render test. Oh, it's taking quite a while now. <laughs> I really need to do the floor as well. And grab more light in, in as well. The the ring light is just like continuity within the shot. Uh, that actually looks better. I don't think the ring light has actually made any difference whatsoever, to be fair. <laughs> but this made me happy. So I'm happy. I'm good. I'm good. I feel good here. Survive. Now the next thing. Well, first of all, that tutorial is just showing me how to do this, which is good. I, I like this. It's good. But um, that's not what I want. We have definitely got the right color temperature and the right angle. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to parent these real quick. Whoops. You and you. Control P. So now if I move the camera, the ring light comes with. Cool. Uh, I should have probably done it the other way around. Close enough. <laughs> um, right. Also, with these, I might make them a little bit less rough. Not by much, but just enough to get a nice shine. So if I put it on like all the way down, that it looks really cool, but that is not what I want in the slightest. Point seven five maybe. I like that. I like that. Now let's just do a test between with them completely flat and then them with a slight bit of gloss. Uh it's literally the first step of the render and everything was pixelated as shit and it already looked better. Uh, these renders are now taking significantly longer now. I've got that ring light uh, in the scene rather than just uh, the thing. One thing I do want to play with that seems really cool is like mirrors and shit, which would admittedly be incredibly fucking sick. But the problem I have with that is I'd have to build the rest of the room. <laughs> Could do some kind of reflect, like a glass table maybe. Oh, glass table actually. Be be pretty spicy. Alright, so this is with the not glossy at all bricks, and this was a slight glossy bricks. Yeah, this is that's a no brainer. I'm I'm not going back to full uh, hardness again. Right. Uh cool. Steve's tutorials. I like your video style. They're the same what I'm after. Take away your light, and take a picture, maybe nothing. Um, turn blender render, blender, and do cycles render, and you'll have cycle scene. So again, here, you have to do that real time. It's just a dark scene, you can't see anything. So I'm solid. Okay, click your object, go into materials, surface, use nodes, click the drop down list for surface, and do the mission. And you're done. That is literally it. Now you have the cube, 
emitting some light, and that is literally all you have to do is to get that's all you've got to do, get your object to emit some light and see. If you want to do bag of sampling, maybe set that to five. Okay. He's doing it a different way. I have but I, mean, I this is not really necessary that I followed it for that. Because that's really simple and that is the exact use for the simple one. Also, I'm going to zoom in a bit just because my webcam is annoying me how little of the massive box I'm taking up. <laughs> also, it's flipped the wrong way. Oh, yeah. How does this look with it flipped the right way now? That's better. I only actually flipped it because it was... Because the thing was on the wrong wall. But I like this. I like this now. It's good. It's cool. Very swag. Cool. Oh, that's a bit close. Hello. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Uh, shading. Right, these. Emission. Can we? What happens if we put the factorial into here? No, that would go into strength. Yeah, that's right. So that needs to go back to there. How do I put both? Uh, right. Out to combine node output blender. Alt right click. That's with Node Wrangler, is it? No, I think I'm just tripping. Alt right click. I like mix shader. There we go. Let's go. I should have put it on this. Fuck. Mission go have this color. And we're gonna get a mix. Oh S and then mix. Mix shader emission command. I'm pretty sure it's mix shader that I want. And that's making it also want to put the factorial into strength. Let's go back to my camera view. That doesn't look right, does it? 
if it's more purple in here. Ugh. Um. What if I put the color into strength? No, that's not all. So it'd have to be the factorial into strength. That's not what I want at all. Hmm. What I could do, which I would hate myself for, but it would work, is manually sculpt out just the lines of it. Uh, how does this actually look in edit mode? Ooh, this is not looking very spicy. I mean... The face kind of yeah. I could just select the faces and do a rough thing and see how it goes. So for that, I have to just. What's that? Oh, that's cursor. It's like circle. Whoa, what's that done? Fuck. Fuck. Oh, so it's control to remove something from a selection. I'll turn off the lights. I'm just it's causing a lot of flickering. That's not very pleasant on the eyes. Don't want to be giving anyone headaches here. We're inclusive at the Absolute Girth channel. Even though this is very hard to look at. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? Oh shit, that was supposed to be a line. I think it might be easier if I go to box select, maybe. There, this is a lot easier. It is slowly getting more fucky to do it this way. Now we're getting further away from the center though. Oh god, what was that? I had a uh, fucking pen tablet at some point.
This is just tedious. <gasps> oh, thank fuck for the undo. This is getting a lot more difficult around the edges. Because the boxes get smaller here. And the lines are kind of straying off. This is going to be quite difficult, actually, to make this look good. Because it's going to make the fucking thing way too thick. And it's supposed to, like, taper off around the edges. But with this, I just can't. Well, we'll see how it looks. If this looks like shit, I'm going to be very sad. But... Ugh. That's one half done. Oh, now we're just on the fucky bits of either side. Oh shit, we have a noise. You smell smelly boo boo ice. Welcome to the chat, smell. baby. Fuck's sake. Hello, how are you? I decided uh, to just go keep myself awake with this, and now I just want to die. Oh, hello, how are you? Right, shift D. I can't grab it again. I'm starving. I'm a temper. Oh, he's such a baby. How's it going? Oh, I don't know how to separate this. L sure. I'm gonna eat pepper as she screams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a chat. I know there's some on the donut tutorial somewhere. 
about separating loose parts. Also, I didn't even finish the donut tutorial. <laughs> to make renders like the yeah, well, we had one, but shift, and that will now show us right through it. And now, when we drag over it, you can see that we this got one. exactly the top half of our donut all the way around. Okay, perfect. So. We want to duplicate this and then separate it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit Shift D, which is how you duplicate, or you can go up to Mesh and then click on Duplicate, wherever that would be. Right there, Duplicate at the top, yeah, but Shift D. Okay, now when you do that, you can see that it is now locked onto my cursor, okay? And it's telling me, where do you wanna place this duplicate? And I don't, I want to leave it exactly where it was. So if I hit escape or right click, it's going to cancel the movement and put exactly where it was, but it is now duplicated it. Now what we want to do is move this to its own object because you can see that we've now got vertices on top of vertices and um, they need to be their own separate objects. So to do that, the hotkey is P. 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 Are you taking the piss, Blender? And that's just what I want. Wonderful. Fucking hell. This is still following the same shit as this is, though. New material. And if I put the emission of this. How do I make it use the material to you? This is now your material. Do the material. Got PC set up and mouse is bro mouse is broken? How is mouse broken? <laughs> oh, wanna die. <laughs> That's a vibe. Um Yeah. And we have some spare mice here. It's none that you'd want to use. <laughs> To be fair, I'm pretty sure Razor do some uh, cheap mice, don't they? If you want a natural good one, Razor. Mickey. Uh, if you all. Oh my god. So, uh. Oh, that's annoying. It's only wired. You can have an upgrade for here and then just take your mouse. Why do we need a good one, you goon? Uh, because you're going to be playing Overwatch on it, on it, on it, aren't you? And you are pretty sweaty Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, that's thirty quid. That's not awful, though, for an actual good mouse. Do you have any in my mouse cheap? Not really. Yeah, the Basilisk is 70 quid. Eh, 30 quid ain't awful. People. P. 
part of the mesh go to another, I don't know, it's P for whatever reason, it's always been P. Um, and we're looking for selection. So separate by the selected part of the so mesh. So I did the now, material already. In object mode, if we switch out of uh, X-ray mode, you can see that we now have two objects. Let me get the screen right clicked. Else, which is the selected. You can just put the use as a system solidifying and shit. But increment a like one. So get a board that's how much is that cap. So what can that like? That's enough. Join over one million. So it's just treated. It, it should just be treated like a separate object. Anything back again. To make renders like these lines in a mesh. Is uh, cycles rendering it try to make it look realistic, whereas cycles is realistic. But you can see there's a lot of settings here, a lot. <laughs> huh. This is quite interesting. I've gone to shading. Is this going to follow the same thing? Because this is still d d d right, you. I just want to deal with you. Why? Where is Jupiter? Is there any other options for duplicate? Duplicate blink? Remove it. So this one. Let's go do the same thing. Uh why is no work? Why is no work? Why is no work? Sad. Uh. <laughs> you know what, what I could even do? Oh no. The graphics of the monitor is so unbelievably bad. Hey, on the bright side, you don't have to see him at least. <laughs> oh. That is pretty depressing. What was that? Let's select, select a little section for now. Whoops. Double whoops. So if we just delete the faces, how's that going to look? Right, this could be the play.
I I need to get some music on in the background or some shit, but I don't know if I've actually got it set up for music to not appear in the VOD. I'm not sure what it'll take to set that up. I'm kind of scared that I'm just going to get this entire VOD taken down. Do I bother with the tops and bottoms? Don't think I do. Um, I'd just rather clean up than try it again. This is a point of defeated I'm getting to at this point. Right, let's hope this works and doesn't look awful. There. And then, the moment of truth, boys. Hmm. Uh huh, right. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. What if? Okay, I think I know how to fix this. I'll get a plane. Remove material for now. And modifier. And we subdivide. So it's bad by all the way up. And then this. This is when we spicy. Okay. Right, this is when we undo all of that. Also move this right back against the wall. Where is my scale options? Scale. There we go. Let's hide this real quick. Hide this real quick. I'll just focus on getting these lined up.
I like this. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> then, do we set it? I can either set it to, like, I'm going to set it to semi-gloss. Do I leave it white, or do I change the colour? Where's my light? I'm gonna hide that. Uh, why does this not look right? Um, in fact, to be fair, I don't think I even need this light anymore. I think I can just... Let me hide... Where's the point light? Oh! I didn't realise I left that there. Uh, all right. Uh, Alt H. Delete. Then go back to my hex code. Copy that to bad boy. Ex also, excuse my looking like an absolute fucking mong. I am a comfy. <laughs> Uh, I think this is the one, boys. This is fucking beautiful. And now, I think just to make it look a bit nicer, I'm going to put these right on top of each other. Oh, boys. We did it, chat. That is looking fucking nice. God damn, I'm so cool. <laughs> uh, is my ring light on? I really like this. Even with in like dark mode, that looks cool. Oh. How do I ungroup? Oh shit. It's not that. unlink. There we go. I need to add collections as well. Where's my camera gone? Link, deselect, select hierarchy. There we go.
new collection. Camera. I'm just going to drop everything in here. Check this out now. I've accidentally parented it. I don't know how to unparent it. But I don't want to get rid of either of them. Oh. You know what? I think it's time for a double tech render. Oh, God. God damn, I've done a lot of fucking work since last render. Uh, right, I guess we just... Oh, why is that jagged edges there? Oh, I know why. I need to start naming shit. So plane two is uh, what do we call it? Decoration light. Uh, and good for modifiers real quick. I go past him. Yeah, it. Is it six highest? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I may as well just apply it. Fuck it. Uh, all right, try him. So, I right, give it a second just to sample and shit. So this is what the last render looked like. Um, and that is pretty shit. Not gonna lie, it was cool for the point in the stream I was, and for also my knowledge of this because it's very limited. I'm not smart at all. <laughs> But well, we got this. I'm pretty sure we got this. We have probably got this. Let's see if we've got this. Oh. I'm taking it a bit longer to render now. Oh, and even the stream's getting stuttery. I'm double check my sense. Oh, yeah. Save us. Boys. Are you ready for this? This is the old one. You know, I'll, I'll give you a little refresher break. You know, we'll, we'll get off this scene. And I'll let you guys just be like, you know, forget all everything you've seen. And we'll go to the before and after. You, you, you need a, little, a bit of a, a, cleansing, a, a cleansing the eyes break. God, I'm really small. <laughs> I feel like I need to just expand myself to fill up the area. Hello, how are you, chat? <laughs> right, I think that's enough for a, a cleansing break. So here we have the old shit one that I thought was really fucking cool and looked amazing. And here we have one that actually looks good. Oh that light man. That fucking light. Let's go. Oh I'm vibing with this. I'm really, really vibing with this. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, I like this. I like this. It's good. It's good. It's pretty good. 
Uh, so now what does this do? Now I'm going to fill up the right wall. Uh... Hmm. Ow. Am I brain dead? <laughs> I think I've had an idea for something that's going to be pretty cool. Like this. Pretty cool. You know? Pretty sick. Pretty vibe. Big vibe. <laughs> um... But, but, what if, uh, um, <laughs> uh, let's jump into Illustrator, we get an S, V, I, S, G, L, that another one. This could be cool. Uh, this. SVG. Uh, let me go back to Blender, and then let's fucking go. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's underneath everything. Okay, so it's broken everything up into its own individual piece. Is that what I want? That is what I want. Right, cool. Now, real quick, we'll just rotate this this way. By 90. Uh, let's go into material mode and make sure lighting is off. Okay, cool. So everything's just invisible. Right, I'm just going to move everything on its own axis. On this axis, rather. That's the other curve. Oh, it's just the ring. Cool, so now I need to order these. One problem we have is they don't seem to have their materials. Ah. Uh. I think I'm gonna have to export it something else. Let's delete, delete. Yeah, let's try again. <laughs> what else can we exploit as a Blender can import? A lot of things. Export as. So SVG ain't it. Mm -hmm. SVG. Now to import SVG with. Right, let me actually open the SVG file. Uh, so let's open it with Illustrator. Ah! 
Right, now we're on to some of What are the groups? Absolute and Girth. The Drop Shadows. And this is all one. So all we need this for is the outline. So we can get rid of that. So this go by rise. So that black outline is that actually used. Yes it is. This is used. This is used. Cool. But you know I could figure that out in fucking Blender. I'll close that and this. Uh, right, so I should just be able to import it. Hmm. How do I make it 3D? I could just split all the parts. No, because I have to reassemble them all. I don't want to do that because I am lazy. <laughs> uh, SVG is the best way to go. 100%. With textures and blender. And I am going to show you how to do this. Uh, importing an SVG file is very easy. It's a utility that goes into uh, Blender 2.8, 2.9, 2.79. Um, to find it, if it's not active on your system, come over to Preferences. Sorry. And let me bring this over to the middle. And we're going to go over to add-ons. I'm going to hit the search icon here and type in SVG. And you can see here it says import, export, scalable vector graphics, SVG. And make sure there is a check mark in that box. If the there is not, is. put one there. And then you can close that up. That brings up this our menu options I'm under good. imports. Sure. So we'll come over to file, import, and select SVG file. Now I'm going to go over to my desktop, SVG, and then here is our Yankee SVG file. And I will import that. And there it is. Now, this is a curved object in Blender, so we can't really mod model it. So I'm going to hit the tab key to go in edit mode with the selected. And you can see, just like that, it is a bunch of curves. If I select a point here, if you remember from my previous video where I talked about curves, we have influence lines here. So I can move these around. You can see I can influence that whole object as a curve. I press Ctrl Z and go back to normal. And press the tab key, go back in object mode. With the SVG image of our logo selected, I'm going to right click on it, come down to convert to mesh. And now if I go back into edit mode, you can see we have a mesh image. So I'm going to select my faces tool. Then I'm going to press A on the keyboard to select all the faces. I'm going to hit extrude. The E key, and then Z, and then I'm going to move my mouse up a little bit so that we're extruding along the Z axis. Right, so what he's saying is I should just be able to import it. Just add a bookmark there. Where's it gone? It's an SVG. What about an STL? Is that one any better? Can I export as STL? 
No. Um, Thunder. Import SVG. There we go. Logo. Hmm. Just gonna move these off to the side again. Line J. SVG material. So these should have the colours. But they don't have the colours and they don't have the pictures. Why? I could just be lazy, to be fair. And go with this. Material new shading of that, and instead of doing that because that is cringe, I know we'll keep this actually just so it has the actual shading. Uh, add texture image sequence, brick texture, ticker texture. Image texture open Twitch um, shit export logo I also need the map. No. Mapping. No map there. Um, mapping, map range, no map. Is that not want to go into here? There we go. Nothing. Nothing at all. We do have a lighting turned off. Maybe if we apply rotation. We can't do it. Why can't you do it? Is it because this is multiple curves? No, we'll just undo everything we've done with the logo. Uh, I really want to add the logo in, though. Layout. Come on, hide everything.
Oh god, I've just realised how awful the EV rendering engine is. <laughs> oh, I guess it wasn't really made for the the actual emitting light. I think it's made more for. Oh, what's it called? More for the. God damn, why don't I have any, I have any brain cells? Fuck. I think it's made more for the... No, it's just gone. Let's try and... Shading... You. Image, image texture. All right, so I need the transparency. Uh, is there a note for that? Nope. Huh. Now to use Blender. Yes, that is. Hello, everyone. It's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Oh shit! I've got a call. In this. All right, give me a second, boys. Cool. Um, I'm just going to go grab my dinner for a second. I'll be back in two minutes, boys. In a bit, boy.
Oh, gee, bumming ways. Oh, that was a lot of fucking stairs. Cool. <laughs> I'm back, boys. Uh, right. Put my stream deck back up. Cool. We got some scran signal, some scran noises. Uh, yeah, this is what I need. I'm just going to watch the video while I eat. Oh, fuck. I actually clicked the right thing. Tip tutorial, we will be learning how to import an image with transparency in Blender. In order to have an image that works, we need one with a transparent background. Yes. Download a leaf texture. The link to the one I'm using is in the description. Since this texture is a JPEG file, we will need to remove the black background. After you've unzipped the download, open the diffuse leaf in GIMP. For this tutorial, we will only be using the left side of the image. Select the crop tool. They've gone such a weird way around this. What the fuck? Around the left side of the image. When you hit enter, you will now have the image that we need. Right click on the layer and select add alpha channel. Then select your fuzzy selection tool. And since we have a perfectly black background, we can leave the default settings as they are. So click on the black background. Then go to edit and cut to remove the background. Then deselect. I think I really fuck you around this. To select none. Now export the image as a PNG file. And remember, it has to be PNG so we can keep the transparent background. Now open Blender and go into the top orthographic view. Delete the default cube and add a plane. And scale the plane to the approximate size of the image. This could always be changed later. Under the shading workspace, add a material to the plane. Add an image texture node. and open up your leaf texture. Connect the color output of the image texture node to the base color input of the DSDF node. This is as far as I've got them. the image and make some adjustments. Under the UV editing workspace, select the leaf texture from the browse image download menu if you don't already see it. In order to unwrap the image, tab into object mode, and let's first apply the scale with control A, then tab into edit mode, and unwrap the plane. Now select the top edge of the unwrap, and move it up along the Y axis. So the unwrapped UV covers the entire leaf image. Under the shading workspace, scale the plane so the leaf image fits properly. Then apply the scale again. In order to make the background into an alpha channel, meaning it's transparent, we need to make some changes to the node setup. Connect the alpha output from the image texture to the alpha input of the DSDF node. Are you shitting me? Then under the texture tab, 
We'll open the settings section and change the blend mode to alpha clip. Now you know how to import image textures with transparency. No if way. You found this useful. Have a good day. <laughs> I hate myself. Where's that bit? Settings alpha clip. <laughs> well, now you know how to import blend mode alpha clip. There is no blend mode. That's the one. We got it, boys. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> All right, um, Five. McDonald, welcome. What are we blending today? We are blending this. Look at this shit. This is like a little cool background. I'm gonna decorate it. This is just like the start. Of, uh, I'm I'm learning. <laughs> there. This is this is a the general gist. Also, excuse me. I'm snacking. <laughs> <laughs> It looks good, isn't it? I'm actually kind of proud of myself. It looks pretty sick. Mm. <laughs> I've just been trying to get um, this to be not awful. Oh, shit. Please don't tell me I've crashed Blender. I think I've crashed Blender. I went out on my talk last night to go through all the road race on this from my ball. Oh, shit. It is cool. I still got this. Um. Why can't I apply? Any reason, or does it just not like me? Um, what? 
as long as you do the Colosseums. Because I didn't feel like doing a 20 minute of the Colossus 20 minute race last night. Yeah, fairs. <laughs> mm. Some good fucking scram. Proper breakfast. Oh, good, good shit. Um. I think I might have to abandon all hope on the thing. I mean, uh, now I'm working on a Twitch logo for the event. Oh, let's go. I'll have to send us some pictures when it's done. In fact, don't even bother sending pictures. Just fucking send me that shit. There we go. And this. Scale it right down. You'll see the livery updated. Oh, let's fucking go. <laughs> Probably out to uh, solidify this bad boy. Um, I'll solidify. There it is. Uh, even thing max. Hmm. <laughs> Some grass scram. I'm sure as I probably shouldn't actually solidify it. I'm going to think because that might break shit, and I don't want to do that. I think that's good. One thing I'm not sure how I feel about is the uh, how washed out it looks. Maybe it won't look like that in the render. No. Oh. Let's go to the render. So this is the last iteration. And this. Okay, this looks slightly better already. On the render view. Oh, I need to check if it's using the thing yet. I forgot, because I think before I was using CPU. For one of the renders randomly. And that makes the stream angry. <laughs> I just realised I haven't done any kind of material edit into this. Oh.
Fuck off. <laughs> what if I select there? Ah, oh, let's say inverse. Mm. Just go back into my layout view. That is looking nice. I like that. Let's try it again. Oh, it's going to take quite a while, I think. Oh, right, that's looking well better already. Already got to, got to admit. Good scan. I'm not sure. There's also a way to make it stick to the face because it's kind of a curved face and it's kind of just sat on top of it but i'm not sure if i'm better following the curve of the face below i think okay right cool so we have the one before and then new render i literally only changed the logo didn't i, I thought i at least did more than that come on i can't fucking i'm a fucking idiot uh right so I guess now, I think now what we do, I'm not sure how I feel about the logo. So that's with the logo. I'll give five minutes for it to render. <laughs> Pat McDonald, what do you think? I mean, to be fair, we could even make the absolute girth its own logo. That could be a spice that we could do. I would be down for that. <laughs> right, it's a separate piece, rather. No, I'll put it somewhere else in the room. Good rest off. Yeah, th this is nowhere near done. This entire time has just been a challenge between me getting all these individual bits the way that I wanted. And uh, I think, God, mate, I think it's looking pretty good. But what are we thinking? We've got this one with the logo. Or we can have this one. Um... This one. Hey. What do you think? I think without the logo is kind of looking better. What do you think? Jolly boy. Twitch logo is coming out so poorly. Oh no. <laughs> Go on. Oh, Twitch logo! That's what I can add! That's a guy add minute, is it? Oh no. Not actually uh, tried it myself personally. Right. Twitch logo. SVG. Give me them, Svegas. 
I'm pretty sure you can use just regular SVGs, I think. So actually, oh, with Forza tools. Yeah, I'd imagine. <laughs> I imagine it's quite a lot of things that will be hard to mimic with Forza tools. Uh, why is that? Just oh, fuck off. I don't want to buy WinRAR. I'm never going to buy WinRAR. Fuck you, WinRAR. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm sorry, WinRAR. I love you. To be fair, I heard something really cool about WinRAR, which is how basically they um, they very, very easily could just make it so the software doesn't work when the trial's up, which I mean, obviously. But they were, but WinRAR were like, oh, well, why are we punishing people who, like, probably aren't ever going to buy it because that's, that's stupid? Um. Oh, punish people for not buying it who would never buy it anyway. So basically, just give it away to, for free for like all like end users like me and you. I'm not end users, like for me and you. Like just home users, people who just want to zip the files. And then, but in their contracts, it basically says by accepting the trial, you have to pay for it. And they don't come after people. Well, obviously, they're not going to come after people who don't pay for it who are just home users. But it's the companies to get the money off. The big companies who use it for everything. And they get the money from that. And that's how they pay. They keep afloat while giving everyone free trials. Because they can go after companies legally. And get all their money. Your free trial of existing has ended. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think you're a bit late for that. I I turned eighteen um four years ago. Four years too late, my dude. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna do it. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty. And then thinking, in case any of my clips ever get re-uploaded, people want to know who I am. And the, 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 it's kind of branding, like, here, I've got the logo, but still, this is my strat. <laughs> um, text. Boop. Give me words. Oh, I need to try and re remember how to use this fucking software. Um... I think that's the one that I always use. Yeah, it looks about right. It's a fucking stupid mode. Why can't we watch Twitch? Because we have Twitch at home. Are we? <laughs> uh, the, you completely lost me there. Oh. Fuck. There we go. I'll send this over to you on Discord. Oh, that's, um... That's looking interesting. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, you are really close. It is inc it's incredibly fucking close. You just got to, like, fine-tune it. <laughs> we have Twitch at home. I see. We 
twitch.tv. <laughs> nah, it's Facebook gaming. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. God, Four's a livery editor. It really ain't it. Oh. How's this looking? I think I might use my colour, my bright colour, for this. There we are, that looks way better. Then can I... I always remember there's a fucking drop shadow option, but I never remember where. Fact. Do you need some two? No. filters. I think I'm just gonna have to do the the good old. Do it yourself, fucking drop shadow. I could even make these all 3D parts, but that kind of seems like a pain in the arse. How do people do this? In it, um, it genuinely surprises me all the time. Just because, as well, they have, like, such realistic-looking shit. There we go. How's that looking? That looks like some ad drop-in. I like that. Uh, export for screens. Drop that in a Twitch shirt. Create subfolders. Nope. Cool. Twitch plate. Export artboard. Sport as Twitch plate. Now we go into Blender. And we'll import the SVG. No, that's useless. Why did I export the SVG plane? I think it's just being fucky. Um, cool. And then we're going to go to shading. New. I can get a bottle looking. Texture. Image texture. Base color. Alpha. Open. Twitch plate. Back to here, let's go. It's a bit squished. I think that looks pretty good. If I shrink it down enough, no one will notice how bad it is. <laughs> oh, that's just the biggest vibe.
I think it's a point five, maybe. So we get a bit of the she. We don't want a full reflection. That looks all right. Now the next thing I, want, I really want to do is a table and a couch, but what do you think I was going to do it myself? Uh, I know what type of table I want and all. Something like this. God damn, this is a really cool fucking model. I feel like I'm not doing enough justice. I mean, it's mine now. Oh, I actually have to log in. I'll just create an account real quick. I already have an account. Hmm. Cool. So I have to go back to the model. Oh, what the fuck? I've, I've got shit in my download queue? From 2015? Give me all of that. Top blend, yes. <clears throat> I'll look into them in a bit because that seems really funny. Uh, oh, holy shit. This actually has good shit. No, it's missing the top textures. No. Mmm, <laughs> static. Yeah, I'm kind of used to it now. I could just put it on that for now. Oh, God. Right. What are all these? Are these just all lights and shit? We don't need any of this shit. We just want that table. Oh god, it's so big. It's 
think that's on the floor. I'm just going to turn off actual good rendering. Let's fucking go. Also, I should probably put all these. No, not that. So from there up to there, new collection, drop them all in there, table. Does this look good enough to have the, t the actual realistic table? Does it fall? Let's try again with the parent thing. Cool. So I might actually move it out a bit. And maybe rotate it. No, that's stupid. Yeah, this is a vibe. Basically, I just want to flex this, like the whole reflection shit, just because it looks really cool. I was just a human V3 rig. It's just Minecraft Steve. <laughs> uh, how old shout out this guy I guess why is he put his Skype in there this really is 2015 shit Yeah, I'll come back to that later. God damn, all these look so good. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? These are just 3D models. Formats. I just want a drop blend. I want something I can ideally change the colour of. That's outdoor furniture set, for fuck's sake. God damn, what the fuck? Someone just really made this shit in blend. They even got a fucking label, bro. I could live with this. I'd just get rid of this, get rid of these, and change colour. I'm going to do the Colossus now. Good luck with that, my dude. Oh, yeah, you have to repay. So I'm going to be silent. No worries, my dude. You know what? I'm feeling a little spicy, you know? I feel like a little spicy boy. I might just make it all myself. Right. Mm. 
general. Cool. So first, I'm going to make a... Hold on, maybe this. I'm going to try the table because that seems nice and easy. So we'll go into sculpting mode. Is that better? I don't think it is. I guess we just start with some cubes. How tall do we really want it, though? Well, let me take measure gone. There it is. I'd say I would only want it to come up to, like, there. Maybe, like, there. Nice low table. Right, that'll do. Not point five. How thick do you want them? Like not point one. Cool, that works. Then we'll do G on the X axis. How big do we want the table? Like 40 wide? 50 wide? Let's go 45 wide and then Yeah, we'll go. We'll go forty-four. So not point two two. I'm just going to do it by hand. Whoops. Um, new collection. Legs. Legs. Fuck. Legs. Add. Let's add a plane.
we'll solidify that real quick. Yeah, that's a table. Pretty good table and all. I do say so myself. Uh, right. Um, shading. Cool. This is going surprisingly smoothly. Let's see how long that lasts for. Uh, right, I'll call this glass. Texture, where's class? Where's class? with this I can't see anything through it like, at all <laughs> I think I might be brain dead boys <laughs> Add a light real quick. It's also going to be glass. Make a new one. Call that a wood. And then a wood fuck. A wood texture. Let's go. So we want some like a nice wood. Ah, oh, this that's quite nice. It's quite the nice wood. I need to log in. Wonderful. Minute, boys. Can't type. I 
I hate myself because I've been using the same password, not the same email address. I'm not stupid enough to use the same password. I'm pretty stupid, but I'm not stupid enough to use the same password. Remember, boys, different pa password for each website. Why are you locked? Are you shitting me out of fucking subscribe, bro? You actually have to pay for this shit. God damn it. <sighs> to be fair, as much as I hate myself, I'm, I'm going to hate myself for this. I'm not going to learn shit from downloading free shit online. That's the reason I'm making this goddamn book and tape myself anyway. So let's just go balls deep. Let's go on the tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating this procedural wood material in Blender. That's really cool. Now, if you'd like to help support the channel and all. Blender 3.0. Oh god. Ah, so this video is brought to you by Skillshare. Use the link below to get your first month free. So to make this material, it's actually pretty simple. First, add a noise texture, followed by a Musgrave texture. Plug the Musgrave height factor into the noise vector. Now with Node Wrangler enabled, press Ctrl T and change the texture coordinate over to Oh wait, is that a Node Wrangler thing? Go in here, control T. No, it's not. I'm going to have to look at the things he's adding. Right, this actually looks really easy. Well, I mean, it is supposed to be really easy. It is under two minutes, after all. Search. Nope, nope. What have I got up there? Oh. I don't know how to get rid of this. Okay. You know, that's going to live there forever. <laughs> Can't figure out how to fucking get rid of it. Oh, God, what have I done? I'm just going to pretend that's not there. That's the way I keep my sanity. A weird. Yeah, he, he can just vibe. His name is... His name is Philip, and he's very happy. Go on, Philip, you sick cunt. And also he rides skateboards, because he's cool. How do you draw trucks? <laughs> this is Philip. <laughs> I'm Philip. Oh shit! I wrote Philip. Pin, Pinny, Pinny, Piney. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. You know, Philip can just vibe over there. No, I don't want to do that. Go away. I take that. We got a bit distracted. Uh, shift A S. No one. Texture coordinate. No. Texture coordinate. Mapping. Noise. Oh, 
god, I'm running out of space. Oh, fuck. Sorry if you're typing in chat. I've got another window over here right now. Musgrave texture. Cool. And change the texture. Oh, I need to copy his browing chair as well. Uh, object to vector. Yes. Oh. Vector to vector. The coordinate over to object. From here, we can grab a. What did it just change? Coordinate over to object. Angular enabled, press Control T and change the texture coordinate over to object. Oh, that's it was saying to do that bit. Cool. From here, we can grab a color ramp, plug the noise factor into the color ramp, and also plug the color ramp into the base color and the subsurface color. Now I need a color ramp. Color ramp. Factorials could go into there. Is it a factor? I don't know. God damn, this is just wood. Holy shit. Now to get the wood grains, let's change the first color over to an orange and change the secondary color to a black. To get some more variety, let's add another color stop in the middle by control clicking and change this to a lighter tone. Right, so dark one, that need to be orange. I think I'm down for making it more brownie though. So I want kind of a dark mood. Let's go black. Oh, God damn, that's hot. I really like that. Now we. Yeah, I've said you can add a bit of a lighter color in the middle. Just for a bit of variety. That is nice. I like this. I'm vibing with this. We can hone the look in by playing with the sliders until you find something that looks natural. And you can also change the interpolation from linear to ease. So we have the base of the texture, but we need to refine the wood grain. Let's start by changing the noise scale to something like two. Bring the detail slider up to an 18. Oh, and there's shit you can do it in here as well. I don't really want that much. That seems good. Put that somewhere in the middle. Let's leave that in the middle. Also bring the roughness up to something like 0 0.8 and lastly change the distortion to 0 0.8. From here we can scale the Musgrave down to around 0 0.6. Things should have picked a light colour. I should have 6J with gamers welcome to the chat and monkey hydrate. I don't have any hydration, give me a second. Yes, uh, yes, art indeed. Let's go. I'm trying to learn Blender. So I'm, uh, 
I'm working on some stream background because my girlfriend was complaining that they they don't look cool enough. Looks very fancy. Oh, that works. I think we'll have to modify this a bit. Also, this is annoying me. It's not high enough. I don't know why I'm fucking about with furniture now. Also, is this... This is exactly the same. Ah. Oh. Mm. And on the mapping node, we're, we're going, going to scale, scale up the y-axis and scale down the x-axis to squish the wood grains and make it look a bit more natural. Okay, the material is all... I've never used Blender before. It's, it's such a pain in the arse. It really is. <laughs> It will make you want to die. Almost complete, but it's looking a bit flat. Let's add in a bump node. Plug the noise texture into the bump height. Cheeky little bump node. And what are we putting into there? A fact is it a factor or a factorial? <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't go in displacement. The yeah, no, I'm stupid. That goes in the normal. Also, I don't like this table now. <laughs> I think I know what I want to do, though. I think. Be <laughs> rude. And... A weird. From there, we can bring the strength way down to around 0.1 and also increase the subsurface slider just a touch. The last thing we need to do is add in another color ramp, plug the noise texture into the factor, and I'm going to reset this color ramp that I duplicated. Then, Plug the color ramp into the roughness and begin crunching in the black and white sliders to get some contrast on that roughness factor. Oh, that's cool that they've done that. I like that. I'm going to do it right now. 
noise go go into there and this go to that you're gonna be white F -f 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 -f. sound effects yeah we're good that is fully black black cool And that's going to go into the roughness. There it is. Oh, I haven't enabled Node Wrangler. Node Wrangler. Wait, now can I do the Control T shirt? No. Fuck knows. Using GPU. And that's the material. Super. Just going to make this completely orange. This looks sick. I'm vibing with this. Hydrate more. Oh, fuck. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, God. I've had to add my, my video on my other window because I've been trying to follow along in real time. Uh, nice. A what now? A what now? Uh, that's a good question. A what now indeed? Uh, the road racing category is complete. Let's fucking go. More shit for me to absolutely destroy. <laughs> uh, can we go to edit mode and edit this? Add cube. Extrude. Insert faces. Bevel. Getting so pro game of life, right? God damn. <laughs> oh, where's my knife? Uh, just subdivide it a fuck ton. Um, I feel that's not the answer. As much as I want it to be, I don't think it is. What if I just. Scale them both down a bit. S X. S Y. That's way nicer. I'll pop real rendering on. That is cool. I like this table. It's very simplistic, though. I might have some more wood. Maybe around the tabletop. So, uh, shift. Uh, ah. Um, see? Hey, there we go. Scale that right down. Come here. Mm 
man's in love with this table. It's a pretty cool table, not gonna lie. Uh, Z, oh, S, Z. S, Y, nope, S, X. Let me put on material view. <laughs> Never mind, that looks awful. Let me put on the fucking, what view is this? Viewport, that's one. Uh, I'll line these bad boys up. This is the one, boys. Whoa. Whoop. Right, cool. So I'll duplicate this bad boy. Retarty this bad boy. Now the X. Oh, nope. Now we'll move it over to there. I'm going to shade in. Let's make a metal texture, boys. I think that'll look pretty cool with metal. I also did some max threshold. Oh, denoise. There we go. Yeah. Let's just change this right up to render level. Let's turn it all the way up and see what happens. I didn't even get near the final value. Okay. Cool. Now let's make a metal texture. Metal. That's really cool. I like that. That is something I want to use. I don't that um, that type of metal. But this guy is cool. So in today's video, we'll be going over creating this very sleek looking metal shader, especially focusing on these ridges and the anisotropic effect of the principal BSDF shader. And it has these very nice light streaks going in every direction, which is typical for these types of metals. 
uh, and it's perfect for creating modern day products such as the Logitech headphones I'm wearing right now. Really we will be covering this is really cool. and EV and first I don't want to do this. Everything and add in a new <laughs> cylinder and start off fresh. I'm going to give it 128 vertices and I'm going to hit right click shade smooth, go into the object data properties and enable auto smooth. Now let's scale this up on the Y and X axis. So hit shift set to disable the Z axis, apply the skill and add in a bevel modifier. With that done, add in another bevel modifier. Oh, actually I might bevel all the corners of this. God, the denoising looks so bad. I don't remember why I turned this off. All uh, right, let's go back into layout view. Is it still going to do it here? Yeah. I'm just going to turn off denoising because I really can't stand to look at it. Uh, let's find me modifiers. I forgot what I was fucking doing. Bevel. I think I might just... Mm, there's no point one the default. So I go for width. Bevel, width. Bevel, width. Bevel, bevel, width. There you go. Cool. Now I'm going to edit mode, bevel, select edge. Now in it. Do I need to have a more selection object mode? I think I do. Oh, it's clipping through the glass. I like this. I vibe with this.
I think I'm going to turn off the subsurface. Because that's causing a lot of noise. Oh. Cool. I'm going to make a new texture and call this metal. I set this one metallic shader. So I'm going to add in a new material for the main cylinder here, and which I'm going to call uh, an isotropic metal. Obviously, we are going to start by cranking up the metallic to one. Now, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, all right, metallic to one. Just apply it to all these. Whoa. Metal. Metal. Okay, I already like this. <laughs> I think this is actually already pretty good, to be fair. Huh? Right, so now... table well, let's drop that in my room scene okay this is way too big but that looks like quite a nice table if I do say so myself I think now I'm going to see how it actually looks with stuff in the background as well. Let's go over to here. Oh, I haven't actually done a render in a while. Oh, this might take a while. <laughs> This is looking nice though. I got to fucking I got to fucking admit. It's taken a while to render because of the glass. The legs are a hundred percent too bright. I can tell you that already. But we'll chuck them on anyway. Because all I really want is like a kind of thing of scale. Like if something like this in the background will work. It's quite a long render actually. <laughs> My PC does not like glass. I am pretty. I think most of the noise is gone. 
Nice clean up. One thing I don't like is where I've put the glowing thing. I might actually swap the places of the the the, the this and the absolute girth logo that's over there. Just because of where the camera is and where we'll get the best reflections from it with the table. Cool. So it's now for the moment of truth. Will the table look not awful? So here it is without a table. Let's go. Okay. Like I said, the legs legs are definitely too bright. Or oh, 100% too bright for this scene. Um, yeah, that, that doesn't look awful. I, I I really like the glass texture though. The gla I didn't realize how good the glass shader was. Also, the metal has actually come, looked up has actually turned out pretty sick. I think I might make it a bit shinier. And we should be good. The absolute girth as well. That doesn't look very convincing. It kind of looks like it's just slapped on the wall. So what I might do with that. <laughs> um. What should I do with that, actually? What I could do is I could lift off the logo, make the make the little background bit of it glow in, and move the letter in forwards. That could be something I could do. That could be pretty cool with the thing. Because uh, at the moment, it, it it's there. It's there, but it doesn't really feel like it like, belongs, if you get me. I kind of feel the same with the tail, but I think that's just the legs that are really destroying the table. Right, let's get back into it then. Let's see what we can do. Uh, right. I'll just add it in here. decreased her. You know what it is? You need another chair. Oh yeah, that's coming next. I'm just like testing out each thing one by one. I think this is looking a bit better. Still not there though. Maybe I need to make this more black. And make this instead of a white, we'll make it more of a grey. No, because that's just handling the bumps. Is one hundred million percent need to be darker? Let's check that out. Darker still. No, let's just big peep here. Jump over to here. And then we'll do a side by side A and B. We won't really A B, it will A then B and then it's kind of B forever because I'm just replacing the file. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can tell you for the the main thing that is sticking out with this is the table legs. But I think looking at the, as it's rendering, I think this is looking a lot better already. Just decreasing the the the, 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 the brightness of the legs. <laughs> the renders are taking quite a lot longer now. The last one took a minute and a half. <laughs> Let's 
What do you think of the uh, Absolute Girth logo? Like Donny. Like, and I, I feel like it's kind of, it doesn't feel like it is there. Like, it feels like it's kind of slapped on. But, um, I'm not sure whether I fix it and make it look better or just get rid of it completely. Okay, for branding, it's good. And shit like that. Oh, God, this, I think this is going to go through all of the frames, it, the samples it needs. It's got a max sample thing and then a noise thing. So if it gets below a certain noise level before it finishes all the samples, it will stop early. But I think I just went through all of them. Uh, so, yeah, here's the old table legs. I think this is going to be the game changer. I'm going to try and move out the way of the table. This kind of uh, amount of space this way. I'll just, there we go. Oh, this is very difficult. <laughs> That's way better. Hundred percent. That it was it was just a table legs that were fucking me really. Let me come out the out the frame this way. This makes more sense. Talk about this stuff here. But yeah, I I, I really like these table legs. What do you think? Also, what's that blue shit here? Is that the bottom of the screen? Oh, that's below the screen. I've run out of screen. Table. <laughs> table. <laughs> I like the table. Ah, obviously, it's not the best. <laughs> First time. Sorry, it's so poor. <laughs> oh, that's a vibe. I think I, I like the table. I'm vibing with the table. The mic keeps coming up. Sorry if this sounds awful, by the way. I just fix my mic without thinking how it's going to sound. Uh, yeah. That's 100% staying. Uh, cool. I... Right, I'm going to play with... Swapping these two around, I'm gonna have to go into no, not this view, anything but that view. Right, I need to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to start moving stuff into collections because this is getting on my tit. Right, three planes. There's four planes. Why is there four planes? One, two. Right, so this is accent thing. Plane, plane, plane. Cool. Fluir. Wow. Wow. New collection. Also, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get rid of the old table. Serve me well. Oh shit! I've just realised it's so. All of this is just a table. Room. Four on walls. I should probably have a tree's name then. Wall. Right. Wall left. Table. Room. Delete that. Decoration light. Nah. I'll keep it just in case. Uh, accent thing. Hello.
let's hide that for now. Not really getting the reflection of it anywhere, to be fair. There, you are. I'm getting it there, but it has to be like straight on. In that case, put that back. So now I need to work on this bit. This is cool. It's, it's, this is kind of cool. So, anyways, I got to go for a bit. No worries, my dude. Enjoy. Have fun. I probably will not. <laughs> Enjoy, my dude. <laughs> I'll just dip into Illustrator. I think what I'm going to do is just. Group all these. How do I group? I don't remember. I'm just going to hide everything. Keep the background. Watering. Right there, so I'm going to want to shift D, this axis, put that there. Uh, shading. New material. Assert. Image texture. Oh, open. Alpha, put it on to alpha. There we go. That's how we make this boy pop. Make these metallic. Let's play lettering. Let's make them. I'm not sure what, what if we make the background reflective. How does that look? That's looking not awful. Let's get my colors mm. 
0.1 maybe. Maybe if we make the lettering rough actually. Yeah, I want them to go with everything. Okay, right. So this might look a bit better. Well, I rename this scene because it's getting on my tits. Room. Room. Uh, cool. Now I'm going to do a little render. While I'm doing this, I'm going to put an actual t-shirt on because I'm pretty toasty. <laughs> Back in a second, boy. Oh, Close chat. Oh, this is looking nice. I've just seen it midway through sampling. I really like this. <laughs> Fucking mic sound is so flaccid. Oh yeah, I still need to tighten up that one. Cool. It's still sampling. Yeah, it took all the samples. I think we have to turn that up a bit. Okay. So what have I changed? The only thing I've really changed is this. So this is the one thing to look at if you want to see any change. Also, it's really annoying me the exposure log being off. On. Okay. You ready? We got this. And now it's going to turn into this. Oh, that looks way better. I kind of have a similar problem though. It doesn't really feel like it's there. If you get me. It still kind of feels a bit slapped on. I thought it would look better, to be honest. <laughs> What's that on my shoulder? Oh, Smeg, wonderful. I think it's the clumped up washing up powder. Oh, we live with it, we vibe with it, let's go. <laughs> um, yeah. So what is it that's done that? Is it the roughness? So this is Twitch BG. And this is Twitch letters. So the background, what's wrong with this? Um, is it the luminosity? No, if anything, that was helping it. Well, if it's not enough luminosity, that's too much. Maybe I just need a backlight. It's 
What if I just be lazy? Can you even see it? No. Maybe it's because it's so shiny, actually. Hmm. I think I fixed it already. Okay, we're going to have a bit of stream lagging. Because that's definitely made the border pop more. And that's really what it needed. Cause I, does it really look natural, though? Hmm... It feels too bright on that wall. It feels too bright on that wall. I, I, I keep pointing here like you can see my screen, but you can't. It's back there. <laughs> um, also, which side is that? Oh, yeah, this side kind of does have the floppy green screen bit. You have to ignore that little line. Mm. Eh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it just needs a bit of uh, extra light. Uh, I think that is going to be the strat here. Because um, that's all I can really think of being a fix. Um, sliding up that wall around it. I mean, this is slightly better. So, so uh, that is actually a lot better. You know what? I think I need to really make it pop. Because also the girth is kind of going a bit darker. Anything else? So, I might just make a light. Oh, uh, dichosphere, donosphere, no, don't have a cylinder, I think I do. Oh god, that's big, that is a large sphere. Cool. Let's grab a new material. Oh, let's make it a light. God, that's not done anything. Like, nothing at all. Well, for the sign that is, yeah, it's done. Actually, has it? Could probably just turn it off and on, actually. 
Hmm. Close out of everything. Oh, where's it gone? That's not on anything. <laughs> uh, what if we make the letters a bit glowy? That's not going to work because I did the drop shadow and the letters separately. Well, uh, together rather. rather than, uh, together rather than separately. <laughs> I think it might. I might just have to leave it at that. If I learn some another time, that will help me. I will one hundred percent do it. But for now, let's just focus on everything else. Are this cool ass table? Uh, I'm going to drop my table there, I think. There's not really much interest on it, but... Are we really asked about interest? Or do we just want something that looks good? That's somehow come off the ground. God, this looks so shit on just the regular view. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, it looks even worse on the fucking EV view. Oh, this is why rendering engines are important, boys. If anyone is actually uh, planning on doing rent Blender stuff, get a good GPU. Because this... Well, get, get a good GPU and maybe even a good CPU. Just don't use EV rendering. I imagine if, like, animated shit, like, non-realistic stuff, it'd be fine, but look at this scene. I'm doing... I'm not really doing it justice here, actually. We'll actually... We'll, we'll give it a bit of a chance. Okay? We'll give it a light. Oh. Um, light, increase that. That's all just a second. Do it. Oh shit, hang on a second, I'm getting a call, boys. I'm kind of fucking popular today. Call them back, boys. Yeah. So this is me doing it justice, the EV thing, the EV rendering engine. And this is why 
you d don't ever use Eevee, please. Full of a god. Unless you want that style. No fairs. But if you want anything that's not awful, Cycles is the way forward, my dudes. Cycles is just it. <laughs> actually, I kind of like this better. I'm going to do a quick render, actually. Because I do like the shadows on there, on the table. But I think these might make nicer shadows on the table. These might, oh, not shadow, reflections. Probably not wear down one vape so much. I decide I I uh yeah I'm quitting smoking with vapes and I bought another one because it looked like a nice flavour. And as well as at the shop because I'm on half term now, so I'm not gonna be in Manchester to be at the shop for a while. Uh so I got this one. I was out. It's really fucking good, but I don't want to use it all at once. This one's also really good, it's not as good. It's actually kind of getting a bit low. I think my boy is dying. It doesn't taste the best. Got to admit, ain't the best. But it's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Forty eight, there we go. So that's the table. And now that's the table. Oh the, the the position is really bad with my chair. I need to remember that I'm gonna be in the middle when I'm actually putting together the scene. Um which I haven't been doing at all. Uh, right, in that case, whoops, oh, that looks way better, get into the right rendering mode. This is the one, boys. Right. Oh, shit. I'm not, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to bother changing it. I'm just going to render it out and then put it on the screen. To be fair, this has lasted a week, though, which is why I wanted it to last. Because that makes these cheap and smoking. Let's go. <laughs> kind of need a wee. Holy shit, this stream's been going on for five hours. Fucking hell, boys. God damn. Yeah, I've been actually been having a lot of fun, though. I think I'm just going to keep going until I have a really good overlay. Not overlay background. I might actually see if I can pop this in the background of some of my other scenes as well. I'm a starting soon screen. I imagine this would work very well with... Not my starting soon screen. Uh, I could actually modify my starting soon screen with this, though. Right. I think I've had a really good idea for my science to screen. <laughs> I could play with lighting and... Okay. Okay, chat. Chat, I think I'm onto something. Oh, so what do I need? I just need to copy... I literally... Just, I need to copy, like, literally nothing. Also, 
Look at this shit. Look at that. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. That is cool. I like that. I really like that. I really, really, really like that. That is cool. <laughs> also, I just realized I'm glad I've done it this way. I had to hit completely by accident, but this is the way I walk off. Uh, so I did good there. Q. I really like this table. Uh, I need to it behind me, like a little, a little meme, maybe, perhaps, perhaps a little meme. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Before I forget my idea, I don't get distracted again, but. How do I open a new window? Oh, I kind of need a Wii. Oh, that's probably on you know, a desktop. Um, right. Uh, no. Whoops. General. I'll we'll save that. Twitch. Uh, new folder. Blender. A table. Okay, it's saving a lot. Right, give me a second. I'm going to go for a wee. Back uh, cool. Now I can open a new one. There we go. And it's still got a table in the background. Oh, awesome. Cool. My plan for this is to paste all of this shit in. Actually, select the correct rendering engine. Is this on a wonk? Or am I on a wonk? View on view, my active camera to view. Nope. Let's just go to my camera settings. 
Get rid of that. Go to that. Um, let's just pop on. Why is none of these turning on? Is it in the wrong window mode? No. Oh, my leg just clicked. Oh, that's unpleasant. All right. This off of it. I don't know why the camera view things aren't working. Cool, and then I'm gonna get just a, a. Do I do a plane or do I just do a regular area light? I think just to speed up render times, I'm just gonna add a area light. Oh, let's open the render view just to let it fully have it look how it's going to look. Oh no, I've realised why I've fucked up. There we go. Let's try that one again. Um, that looks nice, but there's no roughness to the bricks at all. Hmm. Where's that break one gone? 
and it's not popping out the brings. So what we need to do, first of all, is this uh, mid-level. We need to turn this to zero because we don't want any of that. And then also we need to turn the scale way down. So I'm going to change it down to like a 0.1. And that's definitely better, but it's still way too strong. So I'm going to change it down to like a 0 0.008. And you can see there that is a lot better. That scale is much more realistic, but you can see it's still reversed. So the mortar is going out instead of the brings. Also, the displacement should be doing stuff. It really annoying me that it's not. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So I'll use to see if it will displace it correctly using the adaptive subdivision, but it'll actually do, and that'll go into edit. Says wait, do anything in here, like object mode, and that'll kind of update it. So you can see it is taking a moment to update, it is taking a little while. We'll just wait for this to finish. There we go, it finished. You can see that is way higher detail. So that is much better. So I can just move to a different area. Actually, I can just go to the camera, and I can just double tap the tab key just to reset it. And of course, if you do anything in here, like if you. Is this ren no, rendering is done? It's not done much. Change the nodes or anything, that'll update it as well, and it'll re render. All right, and then just to make this look a little bit nicer, what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key and then right click and drag. And it's going to add this little reroute right here, so I can just drag this up. And then shift, right click and drag, add another reroute, just so it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, this is totally optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I do think it makes it a little bit easier to see. And then also we can reroute both of these, so I'm going to hold down the shift key, right click and drag, and it'll reroute that. So there we go, I can just move this down. All right, that looks a little bit nicer. All right, so that is the displacement done. So now let's go ahead and make this look really nice and make it much more photorealistic. If I zoom in here, you can see all these bricks are very, very straight, and that's not really realistic because bricks are somewhat organic, they're a little bit bumpy and rough. So what I want to do is add a texture and use that texture to make the bricks a little bit bumpy. So I'm going to press shift and I'm going to search here for a noise texture. So just drop it right down here. And then I'm going to move the texture coordinate and mapping back a little bit and then plug the vector into the vector of the noise texture. And then what I can do is I can take this factor here and I can plug it into the mortar smooth. So now if I control shift and click on this, this will be a little bit easier to see. And you can see it kind of took a while for it to load up. Um, so what we can do while we're just playing around with this is we can just go over here to the subdivision and we can click on this little icon right here. It looks like a monitor and that will hide the adaptive subdivision so it'll process a lot quicker. And then at the end, we can just turn it back on and then it will render the displacement. So this is completely useless for me because uh, he's going for bricks. I'm going for more like a stylistic chip. Yeah. We scale up on the noise texture, so I'm going to turn up to maybe like a 40, and you can see there it's just adding little lumps and bumps, and that looks much more realistic. I'm also going to turn the detail all the way up to 16, so it's nice and detailed. So there we go, you can play around with the scale, you can play around with the details, really just get it how you like. Because you can see if I turn this down, there's going to be like not as many bumps. Um, I do like this at about 40, I think 40 looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm just going to control shift and click back on this. Now I also just want to add a little bit of dirt and grunge and things like that on the brick, so I'm going to press shift A, and I'm going to search for another noise texture. We're just going to drop another noise texture right here, and then we can also plug the vector from the mapping up to this vector. So let's control shift and click on the noise texture to preview it. I'm going to turn the scale up to something like an 8, and then I'll turn the detail all the way up to the brick texture, mid sergeant darken. So here it is, darken. And then we can control shift and click on it to see what it's doing. So we have this set to darken, and then the brick texture is going to be color one. So color two, let's just make this a dark brown. So I'm gonna make it very dark. And you can see that now it's adding that noise there and it just looks a little bit dirty and old and worn. So that looks really good. Now I also want this noise texture to be Don't sure that. bumped so that it just has a little bit of bumps and stuff because bricks are pretty rough and bumpy. So I'm gonna click on this bump and I'm gonna press shift key and just drop it down here. And then I kinda need to move everything over. Okay, that is better. We have more room now. So we have the second bump here and we have the height going into the first one and the normal is just going into the normal. So now we have this extra height input and we can put things into it and add to the bump. Oh what? The bumps just connect to each other. That's cool. Whoa. Cool. So now I'm gonna grab me a noise. Try again. A noise. Uh, no. No. What? Why are you taking that? <laughs> Why is there two of these now? What's this about? I'm just going to do a lot of undoing. Cool. So all of this, I'll smooth that over there. Now the bump. I want two of these bad boys. Then we'll go a noise. And now I just want you to go straight to there. You aren't allowed anything yet. No, fuck off. Just let me do the thing. <sighs> Factorial. And height.
else if we put the vector? Is that the right vector? Yeah. Let's make it massive. This is actually a lot of life, and I really want to do that on the other one now. The these walls. So we go to shading, the wall texture. Oh, we did. Put that between there. A noise texture. Put a vector in there. Factor in there, and scale right up. I like this, it gives like a, a little bit more life. It's not really like anything you're going to notice, but it's one of the things you notice isn't there, I think. Uh, full screen projector uh, preview. No, I'll just do a window projector. Yeah, now I actually look at this in full screen. In fact, you know what? Just for fun. <laughs> Let's have a look at how different these two look. So here it is. No one. The bricks do look unusually smooth now. When I was looking up close, I was like, eh, stylistic choice. But now I'm seeing them. It's because when, like, when I was zoomed in, it was like, yeah, stylistic choice. But now I'm actually looking at them on the monitor like, in full screen. Like how it is in the... How it is in full screen. I actually think I really like that one more. You can't see it, I'm just putting it to my other monitor. <laughs> uh. yeah, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. It's just rendering. It's going to take a while. But the on only thing that's really going to change here that you're going to notice is going to be the bricks. So, and <laughs> now I am looking at them for longer. I really I have no idea why I didn't do this before. Also, ignore the copious amounts of fucking flies, for the love of God. It is genuinely awful, but it just won't go the fuck away. Ugh. It's fucking stupid. <sighs> Almost finished the render. I can tell it's getting laggier. <laughs> And now, look at this, that is so much better. That is way fucking better. I'm fucking stupid for not doing this before. Also, now looking in full screen, this actually fits really well. God, I've got fucking smeg on all my... Okay. <laughs> I... Hmm. I think the table legs are again a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. Um, but yeah. I think my table legs, what they need is um I need to turn down the shininess. Cause they are very shiny. And they probably shouldn't be that shiny. Like, you know what? I'm going to do that now. And we'll see what we can get this render looking like. 
I'm sure no actual person who has any idea what they're doing. Oh my god, I forgot about <laughs> Philip. <laughs> Fucking, he carried over. <laughs> it's Philip. <laughs> I don't even know how I got up the Philip drawing tools. Oh, <gasps> Philip. I can make Philip a friend. I'm kidding, I don't like Philip. He's, he's, he's going to be forever alone. Sad Philip. <laughs> oh, he has a skateboard, though. He's already sad now, and I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, yeah. Let's try render now. So you've got the shiny legs. 10 minutes of rendering. Um, let me pull up my preview. Because I'm actually looking now at the stream preview rather than just in Blender. Because the problem with looking at it in Blender, I've found, is um, with all the noise that comes, like in the actual final renders, you see them for like a second or so before you've saved it and well, I've saved it and pushed it to the stream. Um, and you really can't tell these things when you're looking at it because of, just because of how much shit I've added into my scene and how many samples it takes to get rid of all the noise. Because it is very noisy and the noise does hide a lot of this shit. <laughs> but yeah. I'm actually really starting to like this room. <laughs> like, I'm vibing. <laughs> I'm just fucking vibing, boys. <laughs> oh, I've got hiccups now. That's swag. But yeah, not got long. We're on 3,000 to 4,000. These fucking flies, man. Bro, he just wants to be famous. You're in the wrong house, bro. Go find XQC. <laughs> <laughs> uh. How are we doing? There we go, it's finished. Save as. That's way better. Because you do still have like some bits of reflectiveness. Like you can see down there. A lot of shinies. But overall, the they're looking pretty good. I think one problem I have found, though, is it's now showing how it's too light again. <laughs> oh, I hate myself so much. Oh, this fucking flies back. Oh. You know, I'm getting distracted. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, this is cool. I'm so easily amused. What's this white bit? Oh, it's a window window projector. Okay, let's get rid of that. <laughs> right, yeah, I got distracted. Uh, Blender, this one. This one I was focusing on. But yeah, that really does help sell the effect that I want to give. I like that. That's cool. Area light again. We're just going to make the actual size a little bit smaller. Just because we have the reflection on the Absolute Girth logo. And what I want to do with this. Is I'm going to hate myself when it comes to rendering it. So I'm probably going to do that off stream. But I want to make this do the same kind of... I may as well just show you. Um, yeah. If I remember how to do this. I don't remember how to do this. I'm going to have to go back to the tutorial. Uh, camera framing, blah, blah, blah. So like frame rates, I think keyframes, there we go. We're gonna go, we're gonna go through it. 
So if we were to, uh, if we wanted to do an animation, uh, we could do it anyway. So we could put, put our timeline, a little slider thing back on frame one. And then if I want to add a keyframe for my donut here, I could hit I. So that is ins I for insert keyframe, which is not the uh, most obvious <laughs> keyframe choice. It could be K, that would make more sense to me, but it's I. Um, um. And then you could say, what, what sort of keyframe are you using it for? Are you doing it for the location, the scale, or the rotation? I've never used any of these, to be honest. Um, the one I'm looking for is... Fuck. I don't want any of these. Uh, there's a animation. There we go. This is what I want. I want a keyframe. Insert keyframe. Let's go. This isn't really giving me much here. I guess you have to use the actual shader thing. One twenty plus six one eighty. Oh, yeah, one eighty. I don't know why I'm even trying to watch this. <laughs> I, th I think you get the kind of vibe I'm going for here. Like a... Ooh. Like, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Something like that. Something like that. No, I think this does need to be 120.
it doesn't spend any time sitting on the low one. It just goes down and up and down. And it's just like, it's just a constant thing. I think I can vibe with this. But you know what? Can I just add? Can you add text in Blender? Nope. Add. You can. Oh, there's a text. I need to copy the text, I think. Okay, that this is all cool, but where do I? So maybe apply everything. I think I know what I've done. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, no, I, I just can't change what the text says. What? <laughs> uh... What? <laughs> There's just no way, no way. I'm going to fucking have to Google how to use text tool blender. Adding text. How low is Mother Motor Torture Gear for Life Attacks? And now I can type in the little text oh. here. And I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh. 
There we go. Oh, I'm a bit quiet, boy. I'm just uh, trying to use all my brain cells. This grid being a bit wonky is getting on my tits. Oh yeah, that should be fixed. But yeah. I'm I'm sure you can get you figured out my idea by now. Now we'll go to materials. This should be a pretty easy material to make. Um, I don't really care about the thing. That looks great. Much appreciated, my dude. Uh, I kind of got sidetracked. If you couldn't tell. Uh, base color. Where's my palette? Let's copy that. And you know, to be spicy, I think I'm gonna make it a bit light. Um, ah, this kind of looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nope. Light, light output. No. Emission. Oh, there we go. We can increase the size. Increase the capacity size. Right. Cool. So now I think I'm going to oh, get my bearings first. Right, let's see roughly how long this is going to take. I'll see how many samples it actually needs. And it's still not rendering the logo. We'll 
also gonna get the area light. Move that down so it's pointed at the center. Hang on, it's a bit of a reflection. Summit's off center. Frame one. If it uses less than 2,000 samples, I might let it go. If not, these are... I'm going to work on these screens, and then I'll bring them up. I'll, I'll just put them on for next stream. Because if these take 2,000, I think it's actually going to go through all of them. And I can tell you how long it'll take. And so far, even if it went on to the next frame now, it would already be taking two hours for the whole render. Unless it can use a lot of the information it's got from previous frames, which I'm not sure it can. So that was a minute 27 that last one took. If this uses some samples from the previous frame, then we should be all right. If not, this is going to be an overnighter. <laughs> I wonder why you can even save the animations. I might, what I might even do is just take two renders, one with the full brightness and one with less, and then um, put that through there. Oh, what's it called? And just edit the motion in After Effects. Because if this is going to take two hours, it's going to be an O-Nighter. And I don't think I can have a render queue on here. I think the only thing I'm going to be able to do is export, have different scenes. like So it'll be like 120 20 frames of starting to zoom one. 120 frames of BRB, 120 frames of the end in, end screen. Um, and if it's doing it like that, yeah, no, this is gonna, yeah, and then I could just cut them down into their own individual thing. Right, well, do you get the idea? New site is starting to screen. Maybe will be a thing that exists for the next stream. It depends if I can finish it, if I remember to, if I can finish, if I remember to finish, and if I remember to start the render before I go to sleep. 120 frames a minute. Uh, no. Uh, 120 frames is two seconds. It was rendering at one frame, well, a minute and a half for one frame. So that would have been... Okay, Google. A minute, what? One and a half minute. I need a time calculator. Maybe do 1.5. A hundred and eighty. So that's a hundred and eighty minutes. So that's what two and a half hours. Just over two and a half hours for two seconds of video, and then I need to do that three times. So, in fact, what was it? Who was that? Ah, uh, another cool thing. Oh. I was uh, looking at my. I was wondering what what the fuck kind of IP address I had that started with two and is fucking local host thing. That still doesn't make any sense. 
It might have been someone else's. The, 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 those videos I was watching on a train mod, it was pretty cool. Uh, right. You know, I'm going to save all these. Because I haven't had it crash once. But I don't want the one time it crashes to be now. And I've done so fucking much. <laughs> I think this is looking pretty good. I do say so myself. Especially with the bumpy walls. Does that have bumpy walls on? Yeah, it's got bumpy walls. Oh, yeah, it's got a thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. I wonder if we can get the casting couch. Uh, this is going to be a dangerous search. Casting couch. 3D model. Blender. <laughs> it, it, there, there it is. It's $14, but there it is. I think it's worth $14. Have the casting count. Let me have a look around. Nineteen dollars. Three. But I just realised why am I using this screen for my webcam full? I may as well use this one. <laughs> Um, that one looks kind of somewhat casting couchy. Just a bit too tall. I feel like we could fix that though. I'm going to open the image in a new tab. I need the DSLR camera on the table. God damn it. I need the fucking DSLR te camera. I mean, I could remake the entire room. Oh, I think that's a venture for another stream. <laughs> But we're now casting out. I think just a couch will be fine. Uh, this doesn't look very. This looks very blocky. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't. I'm not really a fan. I reached a donation goal. I've just realised the casting couch is actually the entire room. So if we reach a donation goal, <laughs> <laughs> if we reach donation goal, I will um I will buy the casting couch and use it as my stream background. <laughs> this is a good sofa. That's a nice sofa. Can I make something like that? Maybe. Could I do it realistically? No. No. HP and LP. I'm just going to download both and see what they are.
Whoa. Yeah, it is. Did we? <laughs> Oh, is it low poly and high poly, maybe? Yeah, I think it might be. Oh god, this is all shaped from a single simple cylinder. That is cool. The problem with that is is how are they doing the textures? Is it all grouped? There we go, there's what we want, the lovely textures. Well, keep the feet black. Keep the legs white, maybe? Or are you with the purple? I'll we'll go white. Uh, so this one. Ew. This could be a bit difficult. Um, diff. What's diff? That's an image texture. Can I can I have my foot? There we go, this is high poly. Yeah, this fucking image texture. Ah, uh, the fuck was that noise? I mean, we can just try this. See how this looks in the background. Oops. Oh, my phone is dying. That's cool. Oh. I we can call this a casting couch, I guess.
This looks pretty cool. I'm scared now, though. I'm scared this couch is looking too big. I think I might be correct. Right, let's pop this in full screen. And it does match up with the table, though. Yeah, no, it's a bit too big for the table, actually. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I guess the best thing to do is just render and see. Um, shit, I still need to do the floor texture. <laughs> Oh, as if I've just completely forgotten about this at the floor this entire fucking time. <laughs> Maybe a little too big. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, right. Let's render it out and see. Halfway there. Whew. Getting a little sleepy already. He has a uh, uh, eighty. And it's going to stutter. And it's going to slow down my stream, and then he's back. <laughs> Oh, please, for the love of God, let this not be too big. It's too big. <laughs> Is everything too big? Is it just a couch? I don't know, actually. When are you going to do the floor? Uh, after I get this the couch sorted, then I'll add some over here after. It's a nice bit of designing. I'm not sure what to add there though. Got a cool PC with RGBs. I want to play with stuff more. Admittedly though, a lot of the stuff I've been doing has either been the same stuff I've been doing already. Like, there was a few new things that were in, so like uh, kind of fun. But the couch, I, if I could, I could make the couch myself. I'm really debating making the couch myself. Because this couch is cool. Don't get me wrong. But it is going to... Uh, but I, like, I, I'd want the choice of making it myself. Because I'd speak on the floor. That would be pretty spicy, actually. Um, problem is the uh, framing of that. Because we'd just be looking at them side on. And... Uh, and the location of that speak that that speaker would mean there's nowhere over here physically for a speaker to be. Cause that's where my desk is. So that wouldn't really work. I'll make this a bit smaller. Same with all this. I might add a little lamp too. That seems like something I could make myself pretty easily. Put that up against that, that, up against that. How's this looking? I think this goes, this, oh, this looks a lot better already. I would try to have not actually put my display back on. You know, it's only a few seconds till you see it anyway. That could get me in a, a bit of somewhat knowledge on the whole modeling process. That would be pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm not sure how they've done that though. Where they combined loads of ob objects with different materials into one. With the, the couch ties. Because that just shows us one object. Whereas my table... <laughs> 
it shows us leg 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 glass glass and all all the four metal bands god this is really confusing talking <laughs> all the four metal bands are completely they're all separate objects Right, this is looking a lot better scale than what I'm rendering now. It's pretty much done, so what I'll do is I'll pull up my preview again. I've got a preview of just the stream in full screen over here, just so I can uh, see how you guys are seeing it, <laughs> pretty much. So I actually know where I'm fucking up from your guys' point of view, rather than just looking in Blender. Right, let's try this. A lot better, instantly. That is way cooler. Now I could do a... Yeah, so the next plan is going to be in this corner over here. I'm going to make a lamp. That doesn't seem too hard. Uh, I don't think... I might download a lamp. <laughs> I might just download a lampshade. No, because I'm not learning anything. The entire point of the stream is forcing me to learn it, and I'm just finding ways to not learn the fucking program. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Right, let's add the mesh. A circle. No, that's not what I want. Monkey hydrate. Oh, I don't actually have a drink. That's a good reminder. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go for a hydrate. Convert to a mesh. We're going to edit mode. Is it E for extrude? This has no faces. Um. What I can do. Hmm. Can I just make solid? You know what? It works. I can't apply it though. Because I'm in object edit mode rather. Um, it still has no faces. Right, new plan. Can I force a square to be a circle? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm a fucking idiot. Why don't I just make a cylinder? God, I'm brain dead. Uh, mesh, cylinder, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's make that, I don't want it too high. I think 32 should be good. Just let me have 32, there we go.
Uh, just add a cylinder now and it will go there. Yes, I can. God, I'm so good at Blender. <laughs> also, I noticed some underneath. Oh, it's just my really long wall. <laughs> uh, cool. Oh, you're welcome, chat. <laughs> cool. Uh, and now we'll... Just add another one, I guess. Cylinder. That's not the origin, is it? Put it on there, and then go cylinder. <laughs> Not even anywhere near. Cool. Weld. Cool. Let's put it there ish. Hmm. I could go for a traditional lamp, but coins think of it, how much cooler would it be? If I did this, there we go. Now we're going to go to material. I need to clean up my fucking materials. Hmm. Now I'm thinking. Do I make it? I think I make it all the way around actually for the locks. Cool. So now I really need to fucking fix my material situation. <laughs> uh. You know what? I don't care.
I'm going to get my deep purple. Make that the base color. I'm going to get bright purple. And this is where the spicy comes in. How does that look in layout view? Are we ready for this chat? <laughs> it's not as cool as I expected, not going to lie. Uh, oh. It just helped give the corner a definite corner. Well, see, at least someone, at least chat approves. <laughs> um. I think we've got too much light going on here, though, to be fair. So forget all this. And that, and that, that, and that. I'm actually having to start using mesh view. This this boy's getting very crowded. So that's definitely in frame. I want to turn that off a bit. How we try twenty five hundred ish. That works. I think we need a ceiling light too, though, to be fair. But it's okay. Because of the framing, I reckon I can get away with an outer frame ceiling light. And I think I'm going to be lazy here. And just do that. Just for a bit of like actual lighting. So it's more like I'm actually in a room. This is the one. Right. I think now is what now we test it out. Again. Let's do another render. I imagine it's gonna take long. I think I'm actually gonna to need to start turning up my samples soon. Because it's getting scarily close to um what's it called? I have no brain cells. That's not what it's called. It's getting scarily close to uh I, it's needing the whole allotted, like, allowed sample time. Um, I think for it to actually look good, it's going to need, as, long as, it, as good as it can, it's going to need more time. I mean, where are we? Oh, we're only 600 in. But it's looking very noisy still. And after this, after this render, I'm going to do the floor. 
Oh. One problem I do have with this scene as well, though, is I need to find some way to kind of get some green light into the scene or something green into the scene. So it's like, because if you, if you look on this arm of the chair, you can very much see the, the green screen bouncing back onto the chair. And again, if you look over here, if I bring my hand over here, you can kind of see. It's, kind, it's really subtle. I'm not even sure if it's showing up on stream because of compression and shit. But you can see some fringing. And you can see... Oh, that, that was a good bit. You can see the reflection of the green screen on my arm. All right, there we go. That, that's better. Just along, all the way along here. Straight up green. I think it's because... I think I might actually because of the light behind me. Yeah, because it's getting worse when I go over there. And this arm is... Let me actually have a look at that. Because my ring light... Should, like, my main light... It should be enough to light this entire scene. No, it's not. This is what I was talking about before. When I was saying about the... Uh, the ring light in the back. And you can see it right there. The little shadow down there. And look, you, you can see my shadows on the screen. And that's not what you want in a green screen. Like here, that, uh, that that's some bad shadow. So I do need my ring light. That's 100% needed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a lag. Are we done, Red Drain? Let's go. And now. That's giving it way more life. That is what we need. Um. One thing I don't like about this, I'm noticing now. I think that's too much light. It does look well lit, but I kind of like, I'm not in... I know why. I've got the color temperature wrong. I should have just gone off the color temperature they already had. I'm not even going to bother changing it. Because it's just going to be a quick little copy and paste. A little copy and a little paste. That's way better already. Perfect. Yeah, my problem there, um, and you'll probably notice it when I uh, bring up the new render, is this is why I was going through all the fuckery earlier to match the ring light colour to my ring light colour. Um, it's just because, oh, actually, do I want that a different colour? No, I want it the same colour because here is where we can create the continuity that I can't get in real life. Um, like, if I had the money for actual good lighting, I did have a space that I could use behind me and set up like this, I would match my main light to my room lights. That would just make sense. But, um, I don't. <laughs> so hopefully, it will be a very subtle change in the new render. Not incredibly subtle. But I hope it's kind of going to get rid of the whole, like, I'm just slapped on top and make it feel like I'm actually in this space. That's my whole hope for all this. So we'll see how it goes. I might end up turning down the lights as well. I should probably test it with the actual real room lights on. Because it's getting late now and it was bright earlier. Fucking flies! <laughs> the flies really break the effect. <laughs> <sighs> Halfway there. Well, that are eventually, boys. 
I am really liking the look of this light though. That's one thing I didn't really pay attention to because I was mainly focused on the lighting, but the light looks cool. I might give it a little metal topper because it kind of looks a bit out of place how it just abruptly stops at the top. One day too, I'm just gonna have to. I don't know why I want it with Lonrock. I, I think the first thing I need to upgrade in my streaming setup is getting rid of this fucking green screen. <laughs> because this, don't get me wrong, this is fucking cool. And when I do get rid of this green screen, when I have the money, I'm gonna buy a new one. One that I can easily just put up and take down whenever I want to drop myself into spaces like this. Um, But. A space like this can't repl replace an actual space that is this. Like, so you're kind of poor. I'm very poor. <laughs> oh. But it's good. Oh, finish the render. That's really sold it. That's a lot better. I think it's still a bit I think it's a bit too bright. One thing that is kind of fucking me over a little bit is the fact that my shadow isn't here. I don't know how I'd remedy that. <laughs> but that is a good step. It might look like nothing, but it, it does it's one of them things that looks like nothing, but it does just really sell it. Maybe turn this down a bit, like 350 watts. This bit's going to get kind of tedious because it's just going to be a load of tiny change, waiting for 10 minutes for the render, and rinse and repeat pretty much. Um, I imagine no real Blender artists ever have any of this shit, but I don't know. It'd be pretty cool to actually uh, learn this shit. I don't know why. I've, I've been in a very education-y mood recently. I mean, to be fair, I always really am. Like, uh, I mean, just in the past month or so, I've learned Adobe Illustrator, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and now I'm learning Blender. Like, I'm having a lot of fun with this shit. Also, I can see in the render window that it is already looking better. I don't think it likes that I am, um, what's it called? I'm mixing all different kind of lights, so it's definitely not a fan of that. Also, we've got a random mystery shadow that I've realised. That's not a mystery shadow, it's coming from the that. Uh... Good tips. <laughs> Good ten minutes. I'm halfway through. Let's go. <laughs> How did the last render take actually? Because I'm pretty sure these are going up in time. Damn, the last one was almost three minutes. These renders, for context, at the beginning went from going like always less than a minute. I never had like at the beginning. I didn't ever notice it going over a minute. <laughs> Also, uh, I'm vibing with this, actually. I wasn't really a fan at first, but now I'm kind of getting more lights in and more kind of like artistic shit. I'm liking it. I 
Also, I like how the corner is... is... I'm still not sure how I feel about this corner. It's kind of fucking me a bit. Because <laughs> it's there. But is it there? Like... I don't know. I think it's just the focal range of the camera that I've got set. No, set the cameras. But that has gone the exact same as my camera is. All right, let's try now. I don't remember what I changed. Oh, the brightness. There we go. That's a lot better. Now, see, there's a bit more shadow on the couch. And just about is generally a, a little bit darker. I like that. I like that. That's good. Good steps. And now, wait, dramatic effect. The moment you've all been waiting for, chat. We're going to do the fucking floor. <laughs> uh. This looks like a pretty sick room to buy them, to be fair, though. I, I buy this. Mm. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, I think this is coming along quite nice. Uh, right. I need to start labeling my materials as well. This is getting really annoying. Oh God, I've just realized how awful this truly looks with the, with the EV rendering. Oh God. God damn, I'm so glad I actually have a decent GPU. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, I just used a velvet one. But I don't really want to do that for like the, the future. I don't want to just have a stock velvet chip. So yeah, let's get a shade on. I think I'll just put it into camera mode and then go full render scale. I don't know, I'm just I'm just gonna look at the floor. You know, let's get some inspiration. Floor. Fuck off. I could I could go wood, but that's not really going to uh, match the acoustic profile of the room. So I think it's going to be carpet. All right now, carpet. There you go. I'll let grass for a second there. Ah. Uh. That's more shag carpet. Uh, also, particle system is dead. Um, After this, we have basically finished the modeling the next three elements of, you know, uh, the scene. I'm going to start texturing, you know, uh, the floor and everything that needs texturing. So let us start with the floor. Damn, this I'm guy's good. Floor. As you can see, it's an adding modifiers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit and then preferences. In the add-ons, type uh, node wrangler. And make sure that this add-on is activated because preview. And if you want to folder, activate these three maps. And I need the displacement, the normal, and the roughness. After this, all you have to do is principal texture setup. You can click this one. When you do that, the node wrangler that we have activated before, it will create this thing. That's a marble floor. There you go. Uh, you have to pay for that. <laughs> Bedroom. Ugh. 
Now let's get rid of the 3.0. I don't want to shag carpet though. This is very quiet. To this one in Blender. And if I actually open up the image in a new tab, let me change the size up here so I can actually see it better. Uh, and before we get in, just do a Google search for images, the carpets or the rugs that we can use it. Uh, stuff like that has to be looking flat. All right, I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to click it, and I'm just going to do stuff like this, like escape, which is absolutely a Blender, and use whatever image program that you have. That, that is cool. Personally, for stuff like this, I use Photo. You go to Editor. And I'm going to find that carpet right here. Be perfect. Hmm. Close that. And then I'm going to go back into Blender. I'm going to get rid of this cube because I don't want to go back. And then you'll see an add on import, export an image, import, add image, images add button. And then choose that same image that you just created, which is right here. All right. Crap. I'm going to just make them on the left. The hairs would look, would look too big. I don't want to have GPU. Carpet select. I'm going to go ahead and look at it. We need to click on the particle uh, system right here. Click the plus to add part of the system. Click on the hair because we want it to generate hairs. Now, the, the neat thing about uh, using a, an image texture on a mesh, which the plane is a mesh, is this area is going to be equal because all these settings, this number, whatever this number is, which is 1,000, it's that number. So he's just done with the particle system. I have never used a particle system. <laughs> Let's try that. Settings in the particles tab. That's a particles tab. Oh, particle edit. Uh, right. Particle edit, add. How? Right, let me go back to this and see how he's got right, into the past mode. Shown in the he aren't there. Display port. Now, it's 1,000 times 100 is what would be displayed during a rendering. Would I've just realized I am stupid. There's a particle edit tab. Ah. Uh. Oh, gee whiz. It's a really big area, so I need a lot of fucking particles. Yeah, like one million. That was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh he's hacked it. It's only got a fucking on it, hasn't it? Okay, cool, let's go. Her dynamics. Oh god, this is also a bad idea. I should have made the floor smaller before doing this shit. <laughs> I think this is what crashes Blender.
Oh, it's a hair shape thing. That probably would have probably would have worked without um without turning my fucking PC into a fucking toaster. Okay, I'll give you some credit. It's not getting especially hot. It is quite toasty. Don't get me wrong. It is toasty. But oh. Uh, my stream is not liking this. Oh no! Wait, are we back? Okay, the stream's back. Is it still counting up? It's still counting the time. We're dropping quite a few frames. Oh no, that's one hundred and six in the whole stream. <gasps> Air dynamics is on. Okay. I think that just means if I drop something on it, it will do stuff. I don't want to cook my PC, so I'm going to not do that. No, it's just crash. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. God. Oh, shit. I'll fucking do the thing that's through. <laughs> oh, we're good. Okay. Note to self. Do not click the... Do not click the hair dynamics button. That is bad idea. <laughs> Strand shape. I should start this on a lower number of hairs, then increase it to one million. Is the takeaway I'm getting here? Because my computer is not happy with this. In the slightest. Are we back? Nope. I hope this doesn't crash. I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> uh, I was this done. From what I can tell, not a lot. Okay, there we go. So I'll start with that. Let's just make these two back to one. I should have probably read, kept watching the tutorial to learn this shit. But he was kind of annoying, not going to lie. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just a regular seed. Right, what I'm going to do as well. Select that, camera mode, edit mode. This is the safest way to do anything with this. I could probably even get rid of all of these. Can I... No. I'll just cut this off. I should be able to select these pieces just to make a bit of bit lighter work for my PC. God, this looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't affect anything in the actual camera view. I don't think. Yeah, the camera view is still all good. That's all that really matters. Oh, oh, let's try that again.
There we go. Just trimming off the edges. It's all good. It's all good. Fully natural. It's good for it, trust. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, I'll jump out of particle mode. If I edit mode, rather. Oh, no. Now it's confusing the particle system. Oh, okay, so this is what I've changed with, I've fucked up with the, where is it, hair shape. If we make it thicker, actually, I don't use many, but that's too thick. I'm not sure what's happening here, though. These are still in the same squares. And no matter how much I turn it up, it's only turning it up in the areas it wants to be in. <laughs> Does it just not like the cut-off squares? No, because this square's been cut off, and that's fine. So this one, right, I think I'm going to have to undo all this shit and bring back the rest of the floor. And now I have an issue. <laughs> I can't bring back the floor. <laughs> to be fair, I could just leave them like this. Little meaty boys. How does that actually look in the camera? Okay, right. So I think the play here is just to try again. <laughs> First of all. Yeah, so this square piece covers everywhere. So I didn't even need to do that fucking cut. I could have just made a smaller square. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. I still like this empty spot space. I'm not sure I'm going to put in it, but I'm going to put some in it. So on this, I'm going to add... Particle system. I 
I don't, I need to fix color. The white looks kind of cool, but it's too bright. I do like the way it's bouncing, but I just can't. Do tiles and the tiles would look really good. I'd be waiting to see like a fucking air system, a particle system. Oh god, just how much perspective fucks this. Let's bet this camera fucks this. Sorry, this shit. Uh, let's give the tile, assist, tile system a shot. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it a solid color. I just add the bump from the checker texture. So, control shift click. There we go. Then we need a bump pass into height put that into normal this is actually looking pretty spicy you know what? we don't even need a full preview yet I'm not even going to go for the full screen preview. I'm just going to render it and see how it looks. I kind of somewhat got a bit, but it's cool. I can't see anything. Uh, this is my this is the render view I'm looking at. So there's no spoilers here. And let's see how this looks. Oh god, it's got a lot of time to go. <laughs> this is probably a bad way to do it because it's recommending it's estimating a five minute render time <laughs> oh to be fair this floor really needs to go though anything would be better than this the tile is i i i the tile is definitely gonna be better than this but it's just i don't think it's be very much better than this i want something actually good i'll show you move it yeah, I was just wiggling it, but it wasn't in the thing. I didn't actually get the tile in it, because that was the entire idea. To not get the tile in it. Um, I should have probably just not been stupid, because I'm only on 1,000 samples. It's now uh, estimating three and a half minutes left. I've already gone through a minute and a half. We're looking at a five minute render, boys. <laughs> Oh, this had better be perfect first time. I'm going to be very sad if this isn't perfect first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Something I could maybe do in the future is replace my green screen with a blue screen. Because with the blue screen, I c it can um, oh, what's it called? One benefit I have with a blue screen is it give me a blue reflection, which is closer to purple than green is. Green is miles away. But blue is half a purple. Like, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that could be the play. I don't know.
I might fuck about as well with the um the, the, the focus distance. Yeah. Three thousand one hundred. Oh, four minute render time we're looking at now. Oh. Oh. You're open chat. Oh shit, the last one only took three minutes. That's pretty cool. This uh blender seems to be blender renders seem to be a bit um kinda decide what they want to do themselves to be fair. Oh, we got a lag spike, and we're done. Right. New floor reveal. I need to turn this way, because you have more space over here. Please be good, please be good, please be good. That is pretty good. It is not what I want at all, though. In the slightest, this is not the, 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 this is not the vibe, I don't think. I don't, don't get me wrong. It looks fucking good. I like the way you can actually kind of see, like, over here, like, you can see the light actually bouncing off the thing. I think that's really cool. But I think that would cause... In reality, if I had a shiny floor, that would, like, bounce it back up and hit me a lot. Uh, so it doesn't really make sense for that. But it does look good. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this, though. I think I might save three different versions of the floor. Also, I just realised that needs subdividing a lot. That looks awful. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. Oh, you little bastard! And modifier subdivision simple. Mm. I kind of fucked myself with this. Because <laughs> you have to, like, actually uh, do the thing. Right, can we go into edit mode and fix this base? Also, apologies for the awful looking, like, the, all the static and shit when, you move, when I move it. Uh, that's just a thing with actually viewing it. Um, also, my floor is too low. And my table is too high. Let's go into mesh mode. And they're peeking through a little bit, so I know that's good. The fuck is this ball about? What? There's nothing else here. Why is there a ball? Is that there on the actual room? No, it's not. What the fuck is that? Cool. Oh shit, I've got to change my scenes back. Nope. Flat in edit mode, and we need to clean these up. How do I do that? Smooth. Uh, 
Edit mode, faces. What happens if I smooth these out? Not a lot. I think I am too late to fix this. And I might just have to create a new cylinder. God damn it. <laughs> Wrong one. I'm going to go with like a lot here just because that isn't noticeable now. It's going to up my poly count tremendously and raise, increase the render time quite a bit, I imagine. But it's, I can't really do much about that. Just because um, oh, what's it called? My brain cells. No, it's just completely gone. <laughs> Let's also add... Oh, shit. Sure. Let's go to Metal. I really like how this Metal Textures turned out too, to be fair. Oh, speaking of textures, I needed to make this less glossy. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this first. Uh, I'm not sure whether to bevel here or bevel in edit mode. Bevel. Oh, I could do like a curved base. How would that look? I think that would be virtually indistinguishable from an actual bevel. But I want to try an actual bevel anyway. It'll learn an experience. Edge select, yeah. So why is it not selecting the edge? Oh, I have to select it all the way around. Whoops. There we go, beat the system. <laughs> I like that. Also, that's what I was going to do. Can 
going to add a little metal cap. Little hat. And a bit of guzza. Nope. I This literally makes no difference whatsoever other than making me happy, so I'm going to do it. Uh, let's have a look at this. You can barely even tell it's there. Do you know what? I can tell it's there. I can tell it's there. <laughs> oh, I'll be back. Let's... I guess I get it. Oh, I'm right. I'm a two seconds, boys. I'm gonna get my phone charged. My fucking phone's complaining. Comfy. Looking into something more comfortable for your chat. <laughs> Let's go, I'm so fucking comfy. <laughs> I'll take it. Happy old. Can't get in. Bloody old chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, all right, you. Um, a little bit rougher, maybe. Or do I just go full flex? <laughs> oh, that does look cool. I'm not going to do it, but that looks cool. I'm not really getting the tile texture though. Shading. Right, the floor. I could just go fuck it wonky floor. Uh, what could he use to do the bump? Uh, texture. Brick, checker, environment, gradient, IES, image, magic, musgrave, noise, point density, sky. What about just a bump texture? Like a bumpy texture. Get some noise, put that into height. I 
Actually, you know what, chat? I think I've accidentally made a decent carpet. No, I haven't. I was wrong. I was on turn. Oh. Like two. That looks kind of cool, not going to lie, but... I think this would be better for like marble flooring or something. And instead of putting the factorial into like a lightning thing. Actually, chat. I might be on to something here. So if we go for that, that is something. Then I could just get these, duplicate them down there, put that on displacement, and just crank the size. Oh. I have to go into the settings. Placement and bump. Oh, what's happened here? Uh... Chat, I think fucked up. Uh. Hmm, maybe if I had a math thing. No. So I don't think this is the way to go. I'm an idiot. We have the normal. 
So then this would just be a lot bigger and create smaller uh, things. Smaller bumpies. This is the one chat, I think. No, now it just looks really bumpy. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, why can't so much just work? God fucking damn. What other texture and things do I have? Break check environment. Let's see what this is. Hmm. I do not understand this. <laughs> texture. Is that a magic musgrave texture? What's some well come on, can I do this? If I put that on the normal map. What? This looks cool. Kind of. Not really. Ah, <laughs> uh, shitty now. No, that's not the one. Uh, it does? It does what? Hmm. Velvet? That's what I was using before. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's not what I want though. Uh, Musgrave. Is it only tree sitters can do pre. Actually. No, I think I might just go with the tiles. It matches it best. Maybe if I copy the base chords here, I could add, oh shit. How's this? 
That is not awful. I then need to turn down the roughness to like point, point 0.6. That looks pretty good. Sheen. I don't need Sheen. Sheen's cringe. Right, let's try rendering this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make two. With one with that floor and one with the new floor. And I'll see which one I like more. So that seems like it's going to be the best strat so far. Also, I think I might render the Absolute Girth logo since I'm using it in all my other screens. Uh, where's my accent thing? Oh, everything's going in here. Why is everything going in that group? Oh, I fucked some up here. New collection. Channel name. Drop them in there. So that's supposed to be in there. Plane. That is the floor. I don't know how everything's gotten so fucky. Decoration light. Yeah, that's in there. Cylinder. That's a couch. Lamp. Um, no, I don't think I do need the logo because I've already got it up here. And branding is cool, but I think too much brand branding is cringe. <laughs> Right, let's let's give this a cheeky render. And we'll get it ready. Cause now I'm gonna start A B in. Holy shit, it's been eight hours. I've been I've been live for eight hours. Fucking hell, what time is it? It's only eleven o'clock. Shit to know. Give it a while. One thing I do find annoying is if you close the render box, mid render it gets rid of everything. <laughs> like, it doesn't get rid of everything. But I, I don't know. It gets rid of your last render time. So it doesn't tell you how long your last render took anymore. <laughs> but I'm going to finish this. Oh, after this is finished, another thing. I think this might be the final floor for the next one. I might put the erbo uh, out to my Discord. Speaking of, if you scroll down below the channel or type exclamation mark Discord in chat, 
uh, it will give you a link to a Discord server. Uh, where we... I was doing it, announcements and shit, and it's cool. All the shit I do. I do. So, you know, get in there. Uh, first thing I think I'm going to post, even though it's only me and my girlfriend and one other person so far, <laughs> is I might do a little vote on the background that I choose. Because I know I'm going to keep one of these as a stream background. It's like, the, it's like, it's cool having a green screen and being able to just put yourself in somewhere. Like, I used to do it all the time where I didn't even have a background or anything behind my webcam. I don't have a frame or a background because I was like, I'll just put myself in the corner. It's not like I've got any excess shit around me. It's just going to be me in the corner. That kind of like, uh, I don't really like that. I like the camera being separated from the game. So each of your individual elements are separated from each other. Otherwise, I think things get looking too messy, if you get me. Like, uh, yeah, that's why I have everything in borders. I mean, even on my fucking intermission screen. I think I need a chat box on it, too. I used to have a... The way I did have it as well is chat on my gameplay screen. It was just in the corner. The message would just come up, and it just got too messy. So I just I just killed it. I just got rid of it. That's why chat is only on my intermission screen. Well, my now old intermission screen, because... Uh, let me save this real quick. Save as... BG, maybe. Save. Uh, yeah, because now I have it. Where my webcam only screen. I've got them separated. So as you can see, this is definitely a separate section to that. Speaking of, I actually need to put a background behind here. Because this is not looking very separated and this is looking kind of messy. Oh well. Let's add a new source. Image source. Image 2. Let's move that down real quick. And this is going to be BG maybe. Where is my crit folder? Uh, where have these been saving? <laughs> I've lost it. My render. <laughs> uh, my render window. Save as. It is going in my documents. There we go. What are we thinking, chat? I do like this new floor. One thing I don't like is I don't have any skirting boards. I need that separation, boy. Um, what do I worry about this? I could just get a plane and shape it into a skating board. Could be a possibility. Um, but yeah, I don't like this scene. Uh, but yeah, it's this one. This one. Rosalirius Val Valentine, welcome to the stream. Where are you towers in? And this is all I've accomplished. <laughs> oh. Yeah, what do you think? You actually came at a good time. I'm deciding currently between this flooring and this flooring. <laughs> I'm not sure which to commit to. I mean, I, I know for a fact I want a skirting board here because that's getting annoying. The lack of separation between the two. I like separation. I'm a big fan of separation. <laughs> but I, um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with the floor. So I've got one with checkered patterns. 
and one with just the tile kind of pattern on it. This one's also shiny, I think. No, it's the same. This one looks cool. The the checkered one. Or the blank one. Oh god, what's happening here? Oh, it's my right arm. Yeah, shit like this happens when I don't have my, the main light on. I might actually go turn it on because it's getting kind of annoying. I need to get used to having the whole being in this mode if I'm actually doing this sort of thing. Checkers. I'm down for the checkers. I'm also more down for the checkers because I've realised. <coughs> <coughs> oh, gee biz. I didn't fix a lamp until, well, I didn't fix a lamp in this one. So a lamp, you might notice the base is kind of like a bit wonky and the, it doesn't have a cap on it, which I didn't like. So I cleaned up the base, added a little bevel, and I put the, the little tippy top. But yeah, I think I'm working for the, with the checkers, because I do vibe with the checkers. Cool. Um, so now it's time to learn how to make a skirting board. Uh, you have to excuse any if if you've ever used Blender before. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is the first time actually using Blender other than the donut uh, tutorial, which basically do exactly what he does, and you get I, I, that's not exactly you, you, there are plenty of places for creativity, but most of it is just you're learning these specific things to make this specific thing, which I, I actually kind of like that kind of um, workflow. But uh, might be. Right, let's get rid of the, that one then. So this one is the one that's sticking. And now I need to learn how to make a fucking skirting board. Oh god, what have I done? I think I'm inside my ring light. Yeah. Uh, right. I'm gonna go to thing. I'm actually, I'm actually learning. So I saw, that is genuinely such a vibe. To be fair, I, all this has taken me fucking eight hours. And the uh, the couch, the couch is, uh, how do you say? The couch is borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but everything else has taken me absolutely fucking ages to do. Like, uh, and half of these are just stupid, shitty workarounds I've, I've managed to stumble into. I imagine none of this is anywhere near the right way to do any of this. <laughs> but I'm getting there. Uh, right. Let's figure out how to make fucking molding. Uh, what's this? Poly build. What does this do? Oh. That is not what I want. Uh, extrude, insert faces, bevel, loop, cut, knife. And I could start with the knife. I'll just do a quick loop cut. Cut it down the middle. And this. Let's go into face select mode. Delete that. Uh, so I'll start with this. Also, before I forget, I'm going to rotate this before I break anything. Uh, U90 Q. And I'll, I'll apply it because I'm scared someone's going to break if I don't. Sculpt mode. Nah, that's not what I want. Or is it? Oh, let's reset my camera. Wonderful. Is there a way to just draw? I 
Maybe I could, maybe I can get away with cheating actually. <laughs> what if I go online select mode, select these two, and just bevel them? No, of course not. That would be too easy. Um, play build spin uh, smooth edge. Edge slide, what does that do? Don't know. Shrink fatten shear. What does that do? Oh, that makes it wiggly. Uh, annotate, measure, add cube, extrude, insert. Knife. Maybe I just start with the knife and just start hacking away. Oh, I need to go back in face like mode. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh How's that? Bad. <laughs> uh, this is a bit I really fucking so I'm really, really shit at. The whole um it's drawing and coming up with shapes and shit. If I could just cheat in a, there's a fucking thing. Where's the knife gone? There. Just hack off like here. Oh, I don't want to. Sure, just cut whatever you want to cut. I don't care. And then, what can I do with this? Why does it drag things? Um, nope, I was going to edit mode maybe and extrude it first. These are bits that really, really fuck me. <laughs> Bevel, loop, cut, knife, poly, poly build. What does this do? Oh, yeah, that's that one. What if instead of cutting there, I instead cut like, go for the kind of vibe I was going for before. Something like this. Then, oh, there's a smooth tool, there it is. Can I just select lines? There we go. No, that's not one at all. I'm going to add more polygons. Uh, 
Is that a subdivide thing? Oh god, what? Hmm, I didn't want to add a material. Add a subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Oh, okay. So if I do this. apply that there we go cool so now what if i just go i've i think i've got way too many fucking polygons here Why is it smoothing that way? Ah, uh, give me an aneurysm. <laughs> So right before I extrude, I subdivide, then simple, I'm just going to go with four. So I think what I want to do is before I subdivide it, I want to make it look thing actually decent. So the knife, I'm going to need to be do way more clicks. Okay, right, so this is doing some. So if I subdivide. This is still being this. Oh, almost lost it. Nope. Try again. There we go. Okay, there we go. This is looking nicer. We don't need six levels of subdivision, though.
Maybe we'll go for three. That seems quite safe. Cool. Now we'll select all of it. And then extrude this bad boy. Why is? What the fucking shit is going on? Uh, right. See, let's put this bad boy on the room. Oh, it's not good. Is this just an angle? Why is? There we are, that's better. I'll just have to slot this bad boy in here. I'm just going to be incredibly lazy with this and just make it too long. Why's it gone? There, it's gone. Sorry if I'm going quiet, my brain's just working. Uh, right. We have skirting board. We don't have a material for the skirting board though. So I think we get onto that now. No. Um, what do we do for this? Uh, I think we just c we could just get away with being lazy here, and just let's 
skirting board. Mm, no, it looks out of place. I didn't apply it onto the one too. Uh, maybe it's just the colors a bit off. Make it a bit lighter, maybe. No. Hmm. I'm not sure what will look best here. And I could just do black, black. I shouldn't really. Hmm. This is quite annoying. I'm just going to put this into uh, Renovy. This looks so cool so far. Oh, I thank you. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I kind of get a bit sweaty when I start to learn things and going way too in deep. I really hope I haven't just crashed Blender because I haven't saved in a long time. Okay, we're good. We're alive. Huh. Scary. Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck? Google just fucking doxed me. Thank you, Google. Very cool. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so glad Master Nikes are very sensitive. Yeah, thank you. Much appreciated. I've uh, trying, been trying to uh, sweat this, boys. Been having some difficulties. There's so many things I've had to just Google or steal off Google. I'm not sure if maybe we just go light. Uh, do you have any suggestions on colours for the skirting board? Or do you think I just leave them off? Because I'm going quite a lot towards just leaving them. But I don't know what I'd do instead of skirting board. I think I know what to do instead of skirting board. This might end bad. This might be just awful. But it might be stupid. But what if I just line the brick line up? It looks really strange when you change through the fucking perspective and isometric. I think this has fixed all my problems. And all I've done is move the walls slightly after creating two fucking skirting boards. But I think this I think this is alright. I kind of vibe with this. Now one problem I have Is what to fill this empty space with? Because the idea is, I I don't really want empty space. Like over here, like over here, it's like nice and busy. My couch, my lamp, my cat, the table, and the the absolute girl. I mean, this has like an accent on it. 
Do I go for like some drawers or some shit? Then that would kind of block off like behind. It's like a, there's some space to the left of the couch. Yeah, I don't know how I'm acting like an actual fucking interior designer here, but I'm vibing with it. I just need something to fill up this empty space here. Um, but while I think of ideas, real quick. Uh, hang on a minute. I need to search something up and I'm not sure how safe it's going to be. <laughs> oh, it's not a DSLR, is it? Oh, no, it is. I think it's just the old ones weren't DSLR. Alright, it's like that. Yeah, cool. So just any old DS DSLR will work. Uh, right. Fuck, fucking flies. <laughs> Ignore the copious amounts of shit I have open. Read me, please. That's a really cool way they've done that background. I like that. If you know what I'm making, if you know what my inspiration for this is, you need to go to church. <laughs> oh God, it's so big. I'm not sure why it's pink now. Did I maybe forget to copy something over that I needed? Right, we don't need all these lights. Oh, these four cameras, fucking hell. Five cameras. What, is, uh, what textures do they have? Four objects. Yeah, I'm not sure why this doesn't have a texture. Whoa, why is it selecting everything? I only want the camera. Fucking hell. There we go. Oh, 
oh, it's just not working with the, the cycles engine. That is strange. <laughs> I really don't know why it's pink though. Is it because of the lighting? Maybe? What happens if I just get the camera and take it like over here? I'm not sure why it's doing this. Maybe it's just a bad camera model. Hmm. Try and pour in it differently, but I don't think that's going to do much. Could do this. And just cut off the tripod, maybe? Because that's not the right type of camera. This lens is too big. Uh... Three. Camera, free 3D models. Well, it's just not free though. God damn, this is depressing. I just want to make my dreams come true. <laughs> I don't want that one, I want this one. It's not exact source material. Editorial, that's what does that mean? Uh... I think that's good. I have to wait. Cool. There we go. Uh, I'll take the dots up. I don't want to log into another website. It's not even that good a camera. It's a very good camera. <sighs> Just save a fucking bad block. <laughs> Why is that backwards? I think I'm just going to have to give up on the camera. So now I just need some for this area. Um, Any ideas, chat? I like a little robot vacuum, like moving, going up and down. That'd be pretty cool. 
Uh, I want, one thing I do want, though, is some way to bring the chat into this. Because it's very annoying. Like, because the scene I have now. Oh, I just realized I can actually see stuff in this camera. You know what? I've given Eevee uh, rendering engine so much shit so far this stream. But you know what? I'm 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 kind of vibing with this. I'm I'm, I'm kind of vibing with this. It's a it's pretty cool. It's a now I've got the actual light that it can handle in. It doesn't look bad. Um, for animate like stylistically animated things like animistic uh, animate style animate animated style things i don't know some shit like that <laughs> things are in the style of animation and they're supposed to look animated i think this is good you do have a lot of draw arcs with the fact that and, and it is very good also that you can actually work in this like i can change anything in this the problem is just the, the fact that the actual lighting with it just doesn't do these at all. The only lighting it does is the blender lights, which I'm not a fan of. I prefer having natural lights. Um, but for what it is, it's good. And for what cycles is, it's amazing. <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna do a quick render just to see if my if all my unhappiness is gonna be fixed by just like with the corner it's gonna be fixed by this. Oh, I'll close my projection window. Okay. Uh if I am fumble can over I have another stream preview. The uh, do, do, do. it just lets me see the actual model better and how it's going to look in the stream how it does look in the stream uh yeah so far i'm liking it uh it's kind of a vibe i'm kind of running out of things i want to do though like lighting is looking good Still got I'm getting more and more fringing as the night goes on fucking hell. <laughs> like my lighting looks good. The this side is busy this side is looking busy and I like it. I could maybe The problem is I don't want to block stuff. But on the other hand, if I just move myself over here a bit I'd only partially be blocking stuff and I have space up here for chat and shit. But that would actually mean moving my camera because I, I move about a lot on stream. And I hate it when you see shit like this. I absolutely fucking hate this with a passion. <laughs> I, I, need, I, I need all the space. Like I want to be able to put my hands out and you don't stop seeing things until they go out of the video, like out of the, fr the frame. I don't want there to be more frame I just cut. I'm just cut off halfway because I decided to do a shitty job at fucking lining up my camera. Like I don't like that. So the only uh, option would be to actually move the camera, which then would fuck me because I want to use this background for all my other scenes as well. And so it's like, what do I do? <laughs> I can make a chat wall. The problem with chat wall is the um the wall will be affect like the actual wall and the chat background will be affected by this light, but chat would not. I think I missed a poly like just one singular face. Right then. Ah, that's really annoying me. 
Let's check I actually have, and it's not just a weird bug. Because if it's a real weird bug, I won't be happy about it, but I could deal. But if I can fix it, then I'm restarting the render. I think I have actually missed a couple of polys here. Yeah, there we go. Look at this shit. It is a fucky wucky. Oh. It's one poly. Fixed. And now to cancel my render. Oh. I need to close some fucking windows. God damn. Now let's re render everything. God, I hate myself. <laughs> uh, but yeah. The more I look at the thing. Oh, what's it called? I'm kind of getting used to not having that separation I'd like. In the wall, but... I'm still not happy about it. I'm used to it, but I'm not happy about it in the slightest. But I think when this renders and we get the new one rendered, I will be a lot happier. Because it, it it's really getting on my nerves. Is it just me? Is it just me? Or is it getting on anyone else's nerves too? Because this is really annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think the breast seems to be looking all right though. The only other problem I would have is the Absolute Girth logo up there. The little fade off on the light. But I think that makes it look more realistic. Because if it was all properly bully lit, I'd either have to have some annoying light in the way, which I've tried and looked awful. Or it just wouldn't look like it belonged there. So I think this is going to be the strap. And then, I, do, I think after this, I'll just um, move on to my thing. Oh, what's it called? Brain. Want to function soon? My screens. That's one. So I have started my screens. I just don't think I've actually saved this in a while. I should probably save it. I'll do it now before I forget. Cool. Halfway through the render. They are really starting to take a while now. <laughs> um, I guess that's, that's just things that's going to happen with you know, fast, with big scenes, rather. Yeah, now I'm looking at this more, it's getting on my nerves even more. I'm trying to look at literally every single detail on this and see what I need to fix. But I think I'm running out of things I can think of now. Oh. And the couch is looking a bit flat, but I can't really do much about that other than make my own couch. Which I also can't do because I'm bad at sculpting. <laughs> I might get a pen tablet and teach myself to sculpt at some point because um, I'm actually really having fun with these whole, this whole forcing myself to learn shit. Because it's, act it's actually been really fun. As much as it makes me want to die and I hate it so much, it's been really fun. <laughs> well, let's see if I like this one anymore. Much better. It's got a separation and I'm happy. Like, that is a definite line down there. I like that. I like it. <laughs> but yeah, I think this means it's time to work on my new screens. Um, one thing that's unfortunate is I can't really export these yet. Um, 
just because it's going to take over two and a half hours just to do one two second clip <laughs> but I can kind of try and visualize how they'll look maybe so one thing I want to try what happened what happened if I just boop properties replace that with that how does this look this was the whole idea for this kind of thing. Oh, whoa. You know, I'm sorry, chat, you're going to have to deal with this for a second. But I think that looks all right. You can't really make out the absolute girth, but I could easily fix that. Just a little, a little boop. Make myself a bit bigger. I think this looks all right. I'm not sure how I feel about being so zoomed out. Um, I do want to redo this border because I thought it was really cool when I made it and now it's kind of getting a bit old. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm liking this. I'm vibing with this. Uh, but yeah, cool. Let me know what you think of the, it actually being here. Like, for all my scenes. Let's close down some scenes. Let's do some windows uh, yep get rid of these get rid of that and we'll leave this scene as is for now quick save just to double check and then open the screens Oh, where the fuck did I save my screens? Out of Blender. Starting soon. There it is. This was my idea for a starting soon screen. Oh, it's actually uh, loaded everything in. Right, let's make a light. Get that. Uh, light. Plain. And get rid of the left from there because it's just the wall now. But this is my idea for a starting soon screen. And over a space of two seconds, it'll go like the this bit will go dimmer and then brighter again. Yeah, it's working. Uh, the light. Yeah, there we go. That's keyframes. I really want to render it out and see how it's going to look. But I can't. <laughs> uh, that's really annoying me. So, with it, I can just focus on centering things. This look is this pretty centered? This looks pretty centered to me. Yeah, and this will be the kind of vibe. I was really want this is and this is the original idea I had for my site starting scene screens and shit. Um I think I might make my area light brighter. Just to match the vibe of everything else. Or do I make everything else darker to match the vibe of the screens? Uh, now let's render this out. And see how it looks. Uh, and uh, I'll just render out a frame. 
Because as you may notice, it takes a little while to render. I'm not too sure as well if I can like um how is it called? I c I kinda wanna do something cool with the whole um I I wanna do something cool for the stingers. Cause the stingers are looking kinda shit now. And and the border. The problem is, I'm not sure how transparency will do. How this handles transparency, I've just realised. I also haven't... I've also left the fucky in here. Just one little square. Let's try again. Because this is, a, I mean, to be fair, this is all kind of part of like, I think this is all part of one big, like, um, my adventure to making money. Because I'm here, uh, I learned Illustrator and After Effects and stuff. Um, So I could make my own, own stream assets. And that's where this came from. And where this came from. <laughs> Actually, not this anymore. I should have replaced the wrong thing. In fact, what if, just for now, I hide that. Hide that. And then... This is really difficult because the lines are for the entire group, not just this. Uh... Oh, there we go. Just lock this so I can't actually accidentally move it. Uh, so this like the intermission screen, and the chat box. This could be more difficult. I just fit in this in. How legible is this? I pull this up. I can read that. It doesn't exactly fill up the space like I'd want it to, but... I think it's alright. Just having a chat box there. What do you think? I'd love to do something cool with like put it up here. Actually, to be fair, I could. It would block a bit of the background off, but I could live with that. What do you think? Webcam up here or webcam up oh, chat box up there? Or how it was before? Like or down up at the bottom rather. It's like there. Or here and smaller. Because I'm not sure. Uh, also, this is rendered, so I can pop that out as. Starting soon. PNG. That'll do. 
Go on here. Small one. It's like uh oh, there's one down here. Oh, where's my fucking window gone? I think I'm happy with that. So as well you get the experience. <laughs> so starting soon screen. I'm just going to chuck on an image source. This is not how it's going to be because it's going to be animated. But my PC cannot hack that. Oh god, I've got two starting soon. Two files called starting soon. Oh, that's my old one. Yeah, this is what I want to check. The transition from this to this. That looks pretty natural, I think. Yeah. I think the lighting looks good. What do you think? I'm putting everything out to chat today because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> oh. In fact, to be fair, what I could do as well is move this up to the top. So it's kind of out the way of everything. Uh, more space for chat. I wish you could put it in like put all these things in like a three D space and add actual perspective to them. Like, cause especially for the thing, felons like like the 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 yeah the donut goal maybe. I could like put that along the back wall maybe unless there is and i'm just stupid filters effect filters mm. scale and aspect ratio maybe Oh god, that looks awful. Oh, so this is just the method it's using to scale. Yeah, no, that is not right. It would be really cool if they did have like some kind of perspective thing. Because I could make things be like, they're actually in the room. Like, part of the room. So like, this could just be like, going like, I don't know. Along the top of the couch, like over here. I'm really bad at this. Like over here. A big line. Perfect. Maybe I'll look into that. 3D perspective. Move. OBS. Virtual sets and <laughs> First thing, let's go. Uh. Okay, right now it's taking me to a website where I think I can do this. If I have to restart OBS, I might be in a bit of trouble. Um, where's the downloads? God damn it. <laughs> Fucking hate GitHub. Pull requests? No. Issues? Code? Uh, installation guide, there we go. Latest production. There we go. Give me that XE. Ooh, free XE files. <laughs> yeah, hey, whatever. I'll see if I can download this now. 
Windows to protect your PC from the free Xs. Thank you, Windows. I don't care. Short sure, all users. Everyone everyone needs this. Uh start to Yeah. Uh I think that's where it's saved. Yes. Uh why would I want to okay. Cool. So now What's the chances I'm going to need to uh, restart OBS? Because I hope I don't have to. But I think I am very much going to have to. OBS and I know that. No, it's not here. I think I do have to restart OBS, which I really don't want to do. I wonder if I can get away with doing quick spe speed switch. Quick close, quick open. I wonder what will happen. Let me get everything minimized. Like the windows there. Can I do it? Oh, it will 100% shut down the stream. Oh, what do I do now, chat? You know what? That could be an extreme thing. No, I, I, I'm going to do before next stream. Uh, an after stream thing. That's all. Cool. But yeah. The starting soon screen. Go over to the webcam screen. I think that looks alright. On the gameplay screen, it's same background. And yeah, I'm, I'm vibing. <laughs> oh, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. So now I guess the only thing left to do really is get this exported. Now, <laughs> I don't want to. Um, I don't want to have to render three separate files for starting screen soon, BRB and my ending screen. So I think I'm going to do a spicy. 360. There. I'll do 363, maybe. No, I'll just do 360, because that makes it simpler. And that's three less frames to do. Right, so on frame 121. I'm going to do 363. No, because that ends on 0. The next one ends on 1. The next one ends on 2. 362. So here, um, animation. Alpha, if I change that to zero, I'll just make it invisible, right? Why am I in edit mode? Let's put an actual render thing. Oh, actually, I selected the background. I want this. There we go. So we do that. Add a keyframe there. That goes invisible. Perfect. So up until there. Uh, so frame 121 we're working on now. And for this. Duplicate that. Leave that where it is. Starting soon. Now I'll do BRB. Next, so edit mode.
got one of the players to add to the keyframe. One twenty. We want this to be at one. We're start starting soon. I have to be at one there. At zero there. I have noticed that the alpha seems to be affecting both of them. That's because I have both of them selected. Right, so I'll start at the beginning. Frame one, start, I'll hide that for now. Starting soon will be at full. And all the way up to frame 121. At 121, the alpha goes to zero. And yeah, cool. So, and now on the BRB, at frame 121, the alpha's gonna go to one. Uh, why is it doing that? So that's uh, 241. Two forty one. Two forty two 242 rather. That's going to go to zero. Why do these have keyframes here and why can't I see them? Why do this? Oops. I'm toasty, boys. Give me a second. God, this is very confusing. <laughs> I'm used to uh, doing this shit in fucking After Effects. And After Effects is way easier to wrap your head around than this. Right, here, everything disappears. Right, we'll get rid of BRB for now. So this is on until frame 241. But why? Where are your keyframes? Show markers. Well, that's not what I wanted to, what I wanted to do. Uh, oh, where did that go? New window? No, that's not what I want. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, wait. Uh, you do that, don't you? No, that's just made another one. Edit to type, there we go. What's, uh, what's it called? Properties. There we go. We are back, boys. <laughs> I'm so good at this whole blender shit. <laughs> oh, God damn.
I think I'm better off. Just keeping. Oh. The 120 keyframes. That way it's always going to be on. I'll just have to make three different renders. Oh. God damn. They're all identical load to be fair. That's all I really need to do for this. It's file. I may as well just close out of this and not save it. I only need to find the file again. God damn it. I fucking gave myself. Blender starting soon dot blend. Cool. If we go here, sixty as a dimmer, and zero as a full brightness. Cool. So now we have file. Save as. BLB. Dot blend. So now we'll just like that. Oh, no. Be right. Be right back. Uh, control S. Oops. Uh, we gotta again save as and streams over. Thanks for watching. Cool. What a key. Cool, and it's obviously share the same. Yeah. Cool. Uh, save that real quick. And cool, we have all three of my level is done. What other screens do we have? Uh, I mean, I can I can get rid of this one now because this was just for testing, and now that's just moved to this. I'm vibing with this, so I'm sorry, room. We are going bye bye. Oh, it's automatically put it to where end. Cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, so um, webcam sorted. The, the I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, still the stinger. But I'm not sure how I'd fix it. <laughs> um, I could make it a mask. I could make a new thing, maybe like a three D model. Can you import three D models? Right, let's let's try it. New there. General. Then we'll why am I even starting a new one? I can just open one. Let's do my do the good old donut. Export. What can um after effects take? After effects. Let's have a little look, shall we? I'm not too sure if it's going to look too different as well, though. That's one thing I'm kind of worried about. Um, cause it does have its own rendering engine. Because... Um, I'll show them the screens on. Because Cinema 4D uses After Effects for its rendering. So maybe that'll make my scenes look better, maybe? Question mark? <laughs> Import. What can I add? Jeremy Poet. Vanishing point. Vanishing point. I think I saw that. 
VPE. I'll export might be some plugins actually. Uh, no. Also, I want to do that. So I'm pretty sure as well. This just before I forget. Uh, <laughs> images is playing. Uh, logo. Yeah, that just has this. Also, what do you think? This is the uh, old shit logo. There's a reason it's the old shit logo. It's old and shit. I made it. Uh, that was my first venture into the shit. And I thought, hey, this would be pretty quick if I had a really shit looking theme. Then things started slowly getting better and better as I learned how to do stuff. And I was like, oh, well, don't want to do it now. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, how about an STL? Um, maybe SVG. I think that's some more widely used one. Freestyle, freestyle, freestyle. Saw it literally a second ago. That maybe render? No, because I export the. Uh, no, SVG is the, 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 the thingy one. The, the outline one. Let's try STL. This is my documents. Um, don't text, uh, I'm title two. Oh, no, that's the thing. How to import Blender. Models into Roblox <laughs> after effects. Oh, there's an actual plugin for it. I need a Wii. Sorry if I'm juggling chat. Uh, do I need to install it? I think I might need to install it. New Blender to work with After Effects. Adobe. Uh, no, I don't have it. Is this a thing I have to download? Oh, I need a Wii. You can't. When was this made? That's 2021. And this is... 2010. <laughs> That's probably why. Blend 2.8. You know what? Give me a second chat. I'm going to go for a piss. And I'll figure this out.
cool. I'm back chat. Uh, there we go. Let's try 3.0. Yeah, yeah, whatever, just give me the thing. Edit parameters, add ons, testing tab, JSX. And what if we try this? There's nothing in the testing tab. J S X. No. Do I need to install it? Blender X bought to J S X. Export After Effects. There we go. God damn. Uh, all right. Install. Give me the pie. Export. Adobe After Effects. Let's go. Do not port file documents. It's not here. File multiple Premier Pro project pro import after effects. Vanishing point import after effects. Okay. Well, now the article will be helpful. Let's see. Enable it. Export. Run script file. Oh. File. Script. Run script file. Documents. Don't know. And then nothing. <sighs> right. Maybe it's because uh, the stuff's in the wrong place, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Because it's directly above zero, zero. You're not helping your own case, Blender. <laughs> Let's open the... Let's try the room. References JSX. Yeah, that's already enabled. Export. Room After Effects, yeah, fuck off, do not you can fuck off too. <laughs> script run script file. Nothing. Ah, uh, because it's three D now. Is that a three D one? Motion blur, three D layer. Okay. 
No, but that's not going to give me anything helpful. At all. Some more tutorials, boy. Uh, animating something in Blender, then putting it over into After Effects to polish it up, such as this animation that you're seeing now, is a fantastic workflow. In 2.79 and below, you would be able to do this using the After Effects export function. Unfortunately, during the beta of Blender 2.8, that plugin didn't work. I'm glad to report that it is now working as intended. So sit back and relax and let me explain how to use this plugin and what it's good for. I'm going to tick this checkbox here. I'm just going to do a very quick animation of this. After Effects is actually going to tell it the focal length and all the necessary details to match the this add-on has. And it's great to see that it's now working in 2.8. So now that we have our very terrible animation set up, I'm just going to press A to select everything. And then I'm going to go over to File, Export, Adobe After Effects. So I have to enable uh, select everything first. Okay. Okay, it probably didn't help that I was in edit mode too. Export Adobe After Effects. So there should be more shit. There we go, that's everything included. And then you want to make sure that all of this is selected to on. So what it's going to do is going to detail yeah, to yeah, whatever. Now, After Effects. Now, I'm working on the CS6, so if you're working on CC, it may be a little bit different, but not too much. The same functionality should still be available. We come down to File, Scripts, Run Script File. Then navigate to where you saved your JSX file. And this is your JSX file. It should look something like this. Then open it up. Then it's going to come up with a prompt composition name. You can leave it. Yeah, so now... Let's import the room again. <laughs> we'll get this eventually, boys. Um... Is that really the couch? Is this really the fucking couch? I don't think this is the couch. I don't think this is the couch, guys. Oh. Right. Has it broken or something? If that is, in this version? You want. So I'm just going to call this Blender Tutorial. Now in your project settings, you should have a new composition called Blender Tutorial. So let's just open this up. Now, as you can see, we have our light object as a null, our object, and if I scrub through here, you'll see that we also have our camera animation. This is really fantastic. And it's great for, let's say, if you wanted to do some composition with the After Effects of a scene that you created in Blender to get a bit of spatial awareness. So if you want to use, let's say, a lens flare plugin, for example, all that you have to do is link it up to this null object up here, which is the light, and you would just link the positional values into that null object. So it just creates for a very easy and not, no guesswork required sort of approach to editing and compositing scenes within After Effects that you have created in Blender. And because let's face it, After Effects, while it may say it's got 3D capabilities, isn't really for editing in 3D. You're much better in editing in something like Blender and then um, using that information to drive your effects in After Effects. So if I was then to create a blue solid, let's just create a nice deep blue solid, and then I'm going to make that 3D object. I want my transform tools of this position, scale, rotation. There we go, let me get my uh, rotation of this. So let me just copy the rotation, and plug it into there, and then I'm just gonna scale that down a little bit, and yeah, done, look at that. It's pretty great. So if we compare that to our Blender. Okay, maybe this is more involved than I thought it was at first glance. But it doesn't have anything underneath it though, which is what's completely losing me here. Right, maybe it's because I tried to too difficult. There's a lot of moving parts here. Uh, I don't expect Blender, uh, uh, After Effects, it's just a third party plugin to do it. Let's try this. Starting soon. Let's get everything. Export. Adobe After Effects. Uh, let's put in the documents too. Right, it come with literally everything. 
That's everything. Completely everything. So now, file, scripts, run script file. Starting soon. There's no keyframes for anything. Solid accent thing. It's like nothing's doing anything. It's giving me the all the automation shit. None of the automation actually, because it doesn't carry the brightness over. So it's just the animation. Does it at least put everything in the right place? This doesn't even do anything. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be broken. I wish there was a way to do that because I'm so much better used to Adobe's animation workflow. Um, and th they've got it better. Adobe's animation is god tier. But th Blender is free. Uh, it's full version. You can get, because I've got um, After Effects, I, it does come with Cinema 4D Light. That's Cinema 4D Light. If I want anything I want a full version of it because I don't want to ever be like in a position where it's like I've got something I want to do and I can do it but oh wait I need to pay for it <laughs> I hate that shit I hate that shit with a fucking passion I don't know <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna have to end the stream off now anyway Um, just because I've run out of things to do I mean, sure, I could add a few more things, but I think it's perfect the way it is So, like, for now. I can easily do way more. And over time, I I will do way more. This is just going to be the start of it. I'm, I'm going fucking crazy. <laughs> but no, this is just the start of all I'm going to do. I've rebranded uh, not that long ago, like, not a few weeks ago. I'm rebranding again, boys. Uh, this isn't even a full full rebrand. It's like staying on brand, but just, you know, changing it a bit. So I, I guess I can vibe with that. But yeah. For everything else, uh, the only things I've really got left is my screens, which are going to be a case of uh, starting the renders and going to bed. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if you can render multiple things at once. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll look that up after the stream. Because <laughs> uh, I've been I've been going for nine and a half hours. Fucking hell. This has been a long stream. <laughs> oh, I don't know. All right, thank you all for watching. Been a great stream. No, it's been a long one, but... I kind of got a bit carried away. But... I'm proud of what I made. Everything looks way better now. I I mean, compare this to my old one. It just it just wasn't it. Um, I'm 100 percent going to do more streams like this. I, I said this last stream. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to say it anyway. I'm 100 percent doing more things like this. It's um it's really fun. Uh, but yeah. Is there anything else really I need to say? I don't think there's anything else I really need to say. I'll see you next next time. Probably tomorrow. Maybe? I don't know. It'll probably be a later on stream, because the only reason I started early is because I knew this was going to be a fucking long stream. And it's right. <laughs> this is running out. But yeah. Um, is there anything I've missed? I feel like there is something I missed. Oh. Check below the fucking stream, my about panels. Got a load of cool shit down there. Discord is a thing. Jump in the Discord server, get involved. 
I'll post I'll post like uh, random little bit. It's like if I've gave, ever got any questions, I'll just post anything in there. Announcements, anything like that is in the Discord. So make sure you get in there. It's great. Also exclamation mark Discord and chat. Uh, but yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you all for coming down. It's been a great stream. And yeah. 100% doing more of these. And keep an eye out. I might actually make an Etsy at some point. Or some shit like that. Because this whole adventure has been really fun. And I want to continue doing it. Uh, but yeah. That's about it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. In a bit, my dudes.